All right, we're back. Part two. Uh, top of the round. Aelin, it's you. There's wounded guards, a perfectly fine noble, and a terror bird. And ah. what are you doing? <laughs> I might choke a bit on my snack. <laughs> Go die. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna look to the the city watch captain. Uh, I'm gonna uh, pull out my healing potion and toss it to him. And I'm gonna say, uh, "Yeah, use that if you need to, but it, if you don't, I might need it after this." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, try and keep an eye on Xanthi. Uh, it sounds like everything's okay in there, but I mean, I just saw those things walk through walls, so uh, you know. And then I'm going to move. Oh, boy. I'm going to move closer. Closer still. Um, and then using Word of the Spirit, I'm oh. just going to talk Zendala. You can um, also use religion, if you like, on this creature. Oh, I will use religion on this creature. While I'm, while I'm eyeing this thing up, I'm just going to yell at Zendala, and I'm going to say, uh, I don't see Summerwise. Is, uh, is, is he still coming for my head? <laughs> I love it. Oh? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know enough about this creature. Um, maybe heard tales of these, these things, perhaps? Uh, this creature is known as a Dark Father. It is an undead creature. Um, they're not terribly strong, um, like physically, uh, but they, with a 17, you don't know of any specific weaknesses, uh, but you do know that they, like all undead, have immunity to like poison and a, bunch, a whole host of conditions that undead are immune to. Exhausted, frightened, mm -hmm. grappled, paralyzed. Yeah, this thing's immune to grappled. It's incorporeal. Um... You do know that uh, <laughs> strangely enough, the Dark Fathers are all about um, meeting out death. Uh, and not so much in a malicious way, generally, but they... Sort of like arbiters of death. Yeah. The, and as such, creatures that are completely healthy... Um, it actually it, ha it actually has uh, problems fighting them if you're at full hit points because <laughs> oh, well, it's not your time but if you're wounded that's a different thing um, you do know one of its strengths with a 17 is that if you're within 30 feet of it which you are mm -hmm. um, would I found that out before I got within 30 feet uh, of it yeah yeah you would know this it, it doesn't really affect you immediately I don't think depending on what you do from here um, but, um, if any creature within 30 feet of the Dark Father that regains hit points by any means must make a constitution saving throw or instead take necrotic damage instead. Oh. Um, and have disadvantage on their next death saving throw. Oh, God. Okay. Don't heal me. Um, <laughs> you also know that these creatures, one of their other strengths is... That um, they deal out necrotic damage and drain life, which reduces hit point maximum on hits. Oh, um, uh, a creature that dies from that is, is immediately killed. Um, and finally, uh, it can use its final curtain ability to absorb corpses of dead creatures near it to heal itself. Um, it just does this naturally. Yeah. Um, and lastly, uh, with 17, you would also know that uh, the presence of a Dark Father uh, suppresses uh, the ability to um, manipulate certain magics, particularly evocation or necromancy school. Anything cast within 30 feet of the Dark Father, it can counterspell uh, at will without using its reaction for evocation and necromancy. But it has okay. to be within 30 feet, and it's uh, it's kind of like um, it's an opposed check. It's not an automatic counterspell. 
So he has to make the roll regardless of the level of the spell to try to oppose the cast. Just like as if you were contesting counterspell with a higher level slot. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Um, specific weaknesses? You don't know. Um, they're oh, not great. terribly powerful undead. That sounds bad for the most part, but they're actually not terribly powerful undead. They're kind of mid-range at best. Yeah. All right, mid-range. <laughs> he runs up, uh... healing hands! <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, one last, I'm gonna turn back to the camera and say, oh, yeah, one last thing, you might want to, uh, keep your distance. And I'm going to activate Radiant Consumption. Nice. And, uh, as a bonus action, and then I'm going to throw two daggers at this thing. Daggers? Okay. Uh, targeted. That's the first one. Fuck, oh, man. Love those threes. Uh, I'm going to add the radiant damage to this one, obviously, because it's the only one I can do. So it'll take that plus... Now, I don't think it'll res... I don't know if it resists it because it's radiant damage. No, it resists the physical damage of the dagger being incorporated. Or, uh, oh, wait... Where's the, how, well, because this damage? gets added to it from my radiant consumption. Once once per turn on an attack, uh, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, you can deal extra radiant damage, so it doesn't change the damage. Oh, it doesn't change the initial damage. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it, it doesn't seem to be weak to radiant damage, but it does take it in full. Oh, great. Ah, uh, boy. And then I'm going to... Just kind of, I, I, I'm pretty, but I pretty much do that. I just go, oh, oh boy, and then I walk in closer, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna end my turn, which means that it and I take radiant damage. Uh, well, it's gonna take twice here. as much as you do. Yep. Um, artist turns and you hear, and he kind of sh shouts and he's, and he's like, I don't know what your problem with me is, girl, but I'm not going to give you another chance. And then you see him, um, kind of, uh, a sheath of like ice forms over his body, almost like armor, just covering him head to toe in like plate mail that looks like armor completely. And then he draws, uh, his dagger, a small dagger, but when he draws it, it becomes a, a large, like, uh, great sword of ice. And you have it in two hands, and he then charges south. Um, then Zendala's turn. Uh, Zendala will. Suddenly appear in the hallway up here, just teleports. <laughs> <laughs> and she turns uh -oh. she turns around and you see a, a ball of fire appear in her hand and she throws it and you hear a, an explosion um and she uh she just shouts out she's like i'll take it off your corpse if i have to and artist will take some damage Archie, so, so you would have heard this being in the hallway. They're shouting, and you heard this explosion. The building shakes slightly with this explosion off to the, the west. Jeez. Uh, well, can't see what's happening there. Um, can I do a check to see if I know the stuff that oh, my brother uh, knows about you, this dude? You have religion, right? I do. Yeah, sure. Maybe a roll even better. Nope. Nope. It's a dude. <laughs> Kill it, I think. Um, what do I have? What do I still have? <sighs> yeah, I'm just... Uh, actually, I'm going to Radiant Soul myself. 
Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna pop my wings. Okay. Oh, that radiant soul. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pop my wings. How <laughs> high are these ceilings? Just as a. Um, right. probably like <laughs> 15 feet. Oh, okay. They're, so they're pretty. They're, pretty, they're pretty. Well, they're pretty high. 15 feet's pretty high for ceilings. But 15 feet ceilings aren't bad. But not, not high enough to get over a creature without it hitting me, right? A medium-sized creature you could get over. Okay, but not not a large one. Yeah. Oh, without it hitting you. I see what you mean. No. Without it hitting me. <laughs> yeah. Like moving past. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna. I do that, and then I tell Jonah. I should be like. I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna go see. What, go follow the guys. Uh. Help. Do what you do. Help my brother. But. I'm just gonna. Uh, the the uh, ceilings in the the main hall are like probably like 30, 40 feet high. They're large. Okay. It's a it's a double. There's like a balcony up on the second level up there. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Oh, you got stuck on the wall. There we go. Uh, yeah. And that's me. Okay. Well, in. I uh, still feeling uh, juiced up, and now even more juiced up in terms of my movement. Let's just take a nice little. Whoa, what? Hello. Hmm. I'm getting yeah, the. You're using right now. I'm getting the lag. Oh. Hmm. Well, there we go. Here. Oh, no. Uh, let me help you out. <laughs> Christ. Okay. I I'm pretty sure that's 60, so that's just my normal movement. There's artists. Um, There's some stuff. Yeah, sorry. Okay. okay the, so, so you can you you will see that this door here is open. Yeah. Um, and you can hear movement inside this room. <laughs> Um, and you can hear a, a faint, like humming, uh, like a like, like a weird kind of humming sound as well. But you're not sure. You can hear like pages is, shuffling is the, of like books and stuff. Is the door open? Yes. Well, I will just. What is going on? I. Just... Where are you moving oh. to? I think. He... You just got a whole lot of yeah, errors. Yeah, it's got a huge, like, console <laughs> window of errors. Oh. You might need to disconnect and reconnect. Maybe. So, what what's in here? What, what do I see? In here, you see a library. This is where Archie's been studying. Um, there are pale-skinned creatures, people, humanoids in this room. So you can see the ones you can see there, I assume. Uh huh. Um, they're just kind of like these shadowy creatures with pale skin. Um, in the center of the room, there is a large black orb hovering in the ground. The creatures are grabbing books and throwing them into it, destroying them. You're ruining my library. <laughs> um, there are dead bodies of other scholars and and a couple of guards in the ground on the ground too. Not like that. Scattered about. So mad. Um, one of them, by the way, the, these ones here are just kind of like in robes. That you've like you done that books. important research. Um, you can see this this one here. <laughs> however, strange strangely, um, when you, when you walk in, he is standing, staring directly directly at you, and seems to kind of like watch you as you move into view, like he knew you were there or something. But he's staring directly at you, kind of a vacant look in his in his eyes. Well, shit. Um, yeah, and you can see a man who you've never seen before. Um, mm -hmm. clad in plate mail that looks like it's made of ice. Um, standing in like a charred hallway with like little flames flickering on the walls. <laughs> I'm holding a big great sword that looks like it's also made of ice. Well, I've got forty more feet of movement. Can get there. 
still have an action. Uh. Mm, God damn it! What do I? I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm just. I'm trying to see how far away things are. So, uh, if I go in there, I'm. I am dead. Dead. Then don't go in there. You're not going to commit suicide, are you? No. I don't know. Maybe you are. Well, okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm. I'm. I'm going to continue on my initial trajectory. This is what. This is what Quillen wanted to do. Uh, he's going to continue up his 40 feet. Oh my god, why? You made it 10. I, I, I keep getting... Yeah, okay. I think I can get... I believe I can get there. I believe that's what I counted out. Uh... Yeah, and so you will... see, you've never seen Zendala before, either. No, I, I've been told about her. Um, I, I'm pretty pretty sure that Quillen can infer <laughs> from all the context who this person is. Um, you are crazy. And, uh, and I'll just be like, To to artists, I'll just be like, uh, "Don't worry, buddy, I'm with you." And, <laughs> and then to Zendala, just be like, uh, "I got a whole bunch of friends that have got uh, your name on the, on their lips. You're, there's no way you're getting out of here." And I will take. The dodge action. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. This little oh, dragon no. man runs over, strikes at the creature. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> and nice. completely annihilates in one hit. I don't even bother having to roll. That's amazing. <laughs> he, he's a... Yeah. He hol he holy smites and just annihilates this thing with a nice. critical hit. Uh, well, at least, <coughs> at least someone's doing something. Up here. Hey! This guy. Yeah, uh, oh, actually, I'll... In the hallway. In the hallway, okay. Actually, I, sh I should roll it anyway. I have not forgotten that you ran in and finished off the dude. It took me like three rounds to fight. <laughs> Sorry. No, I needed it. <laughs> and just to make sure, he yeah, he does 80 points of damage to it. it destroys it. I just point to the one by me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, 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 the joy of don't, don't heal yourself the, jo the joy of critting an undead with a paladin okay well that's his turn um yeah the, the dudes in the library don't seem to care that you just ran by um they continue doing stuff uh the city watch captain um, kind of like looks at the terror bird and kind of grabs the noble's arm. He's like, "Come, let's get you to safety," and kind of drags him over through the door. And the noble just happens to go right after him, so they will exit stage left. There's just like a pit. They're not fighting, they're just all dead. Uh, leaving Donaquin. Oh, okay. Um, what did Aelin say also before he ran up there? Didn't he say back away or something? 
I said, yeah, can just keep your distance from me. From him, yeah. You've seen him use and, and it. I said, don't heal me. <laughs> don't heal me. <laughs> He's got a, an aura around him where if you end your turn near him... It's if I end my that. turn. Oh, your turn. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's not to say you couldn't, like, move past him and be right. okay. So I can move past him onto the door until I get into the hallway and stuff to get yeah, to the dark just, floor. If he ends his turn within a certain okay. distance of you, yeah. you'll take damage. So That's what I wanted to, to, to find out on. So. Um, just in case. Um, do I know anything more and stuff like that than they do also about the Dark Fathers at all? Um, you <laughs> got religion. Roll a religion check. Nope. Nope. <clears throat> nope. No, the same stuff. I know a little bit less. Um, okay, I'm gonna put to it. I'm gonna uh, squawk and run past uh, stuff or over, over a, one of the other. 25, to, 30, I don't know. Uh, I can, you can, you can I actually see, hear. Yeah, so I can't really see in the hallway. I don't know if it goes anywhere. If it's just like uh, let me help you. Uh, there, you're not actually there, but I'm putting you there so you can uh, see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get out of the way. Technically, you can see to the north there, but it, it's dark and ends at a door. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. And there's Jonah. I, was like, I can see Jonah. <laughs> there's Jonah. You, see, you, see, you, see, you see a little dragon man. Glowing it, that's, what's in that way. that's what's in that hallway this whole time. <laughs> no. Um. Okay, I will attack on us at the... Wow, that was horrible. Okay, that's... It didn't work. That's it. The terror bird! Oh, that's you. Uh, the Dark Father... Um, will... Use Life Drain... Uh, on on the bird. Um, actually, it kind of is going to go here first. Oh, wait. Is this not a... Do... Did I have to roll an attack roll? They, did, they didn't set up the attack roll. Fine, I'll just, I'll just roll it. What's your, what's your bird's AC? You're muted. Twelve. Twelve? Okay, so it reaches out and hits you with a life drain. Why? Why would it attack you? Because you're right beside it. <laughs> and uh, dealing twelve. Twelve, that's it. That was a pretty shitty roll. Twelve points of necrotic damage. Uh, con save, but it's your temporary form, so it don't really matter. Uh, which you succeed on anyway, so your total hit points is not reduced by that amount because you made the save. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, that's that. Jonah. Ha ha ha. Um, Jonah. I must. My guess is he would target this thing. Um, would he use his cantrip, firebolt, or do we think he would try and Tasha's hideous laughter it, which, with, with his... Mm, I don't think he'd try that on an undead. He's a pretty smart guy. No, he's a smart guy? Okay. Yeah. Especially an incorporal undead. It's probably not the best target okay. for Tasha's. Okay. I just, I don't know anything about his stuff. So, let's just... You! So close to the 20. Minus 2. No, he doesn't have that. Never mind. 22. That's a hit. Nice damage. Ooh, heavy damage. 15 points of fire. Scree! His robes light up. Blackwind! You're alone in the hallway, though gentle snow drifting through the window outside reminds you of Christmas. What do you do? Free. Blackwood uh, rushes down the hallway. Oh. Uh, yeah, 
Okay. I'm going to move balls. Move balls. Yeah. Go there. Oh, hey, Jonah. Yeah, because Donna Quinn's not actually there, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, but if I get closer, then the bird is in the radius. I'm there. I'm standing right there. No. You're the bird, though. You're not the bird. Um, uh, what is happening? Oh, I'm targeting myself. God damn it. <laughs> oh, well, you missed yourself. Oh, good thing I missed myself. <laughs> you missed Critically yourself. missed yourself. Yeah. Jesus. Damn, 15's a miss? Fuck. 16's 16 was a miss. Was a miss. Uh, well, he'll take damage. Yay. He's critically injured now. Artists will run. Uh, no. Um, he pulls out a. Uh, actually, his his sword. Uh, will transform into a longbow, and he'll fire ice arrows at Zandala. Oh, cool! Nice. Killer. <laughs> you. You. Oh. Artist, come on, be a hero. <laughs> nice. Does some some damage, and then he. We'll kind of take a couple steps back. Zandala, having been hit by ice arrows, Quillen rushing forward, and she kind of like looks <laughs> looks you up and down, and she's like, "Who the hell are you?" And she will cast Dominate Person on you. But I'm dodging. It's not a person, it's a butcher, it's a bird. Yeah, exactly. True. He's immune. Fuck! Oh, ha, ha. Uh, you I should are... have said I should have said I'm using inspiration, but I didn't. She's and then so she says, yeah, she says, who the hell are you? And then she kind of shrugs. Cast dominant person says, just another useful tool. Well, my new friend, go get me that ring and kill the man wearing it, pointing at Artis. Archie, it's your turn. Hey, that's me. Ugh. That's okay. I am double moving that away. Chugga, chugga, chugga. As close as I can get. Mm -hmm. Quillen, you must obey her commands. You must run over and attack artists to the best of your ability. Oh, Blackwind didn't see it. Uh, yep. I will attack artists. Kimbar. Um. This guy looks like a bad guy. Get him. He's wearing plate armor, right? I said. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, shit. That hits him anyways. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he doesn't have a shield? Come on, artist. He was using two-handed. He had a bow and a greatsword. Good thing I'm hasted. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh, God. He rolled yeah, a 21 the next one. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Max damage on both decks. <laughs> ah. Quillen, why? <laughs> <laughs> I told him not to run in there. Ah. No, he's a friend. He's a friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Well, that's your turn. Uh, do you get to save at the end of your turn for dominate? I think so. I, I should better. hope so. You better. Do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do. All right, I will use inspiration this time. Um, you also had advantage on that saving throw for dominate person. I did. Oh, yeah. Man. If you or the creatures that are friendly to you are fighting it, it has advantage on the saving throw. I had advantage. Oh shit! 
I did not realize that. Oh. That's a pretty big deal. That's Do you want to roll big a deal? Do you want to roll it for me or should I? Uh, you go ahead. 19. Meet, meet more, meet more. Oh, yeah. Just hold on. Um, this. How much damage did you take? Colin just saw into the future briefly. Oh, oh my god! Damage. Uh, artist took 20. 20. Okay. And also, I don't think you get a save at the end of your turn for Dominate Person. Each, each time it... you take damage, you get a new save. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. Wow. All right then. So, a brief <laughs> glimpse into what might have been. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Andre. I say inspiration to Ooh, Andre. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I was like, I uh, load up a spell. And we'll see. So instead, she says, "Who the hell are you? Cast dominate person. It <laughs> fails." And she's and then she goes. Shit! <laughs> yeah. Uh, glances it's, to the left where she movie. sees where she sees uh, Dragon Bait standing with his sword, annihilating, and uh, she <laughs> runs in and shuts the door behind her. All right. So then, yeah. So Archie does her thing. I'm gonna walk up, open the door. <laughs> <laughs> She's there. The room looks like a winter wonderland. Little crystals of snow drifting from the ceiling, icicles hanging off the the furniture. Uh, I, I don't see her. What? Oh, she's hiding behind a chair. <laughs> <Now you're laughs> so she's gone. No one's here. I'm just gonna run up to her and just look her in the eye and just be like, "You fucked up," <laughs> and, uh. I'm going to take three big swings at her. Um, yep. <laughs> She'll shield. Blocks that. Uh, hold on one sec. I gotta add the effect to her now. Does shield block that? See, now I'm just double checking. At 20? I thought her AC was like 13. If she's That's the same true, as yeah. me, it won't block it. It only goes to 19. Yeah, like, a thir like when artist hit her, with artist hit her with a 13. Oh. Artist hit her with a 13. Yeah, sorry, I thought she had I thought she had 15. Well, 15 wouldn't have mattered anyways. Okay. Yeah, um, 20 still would have hit at 15. Yeah, okay. 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 Uh... Wait. I will go. I, <laughs> I I will go ahead and just. I don't want to risk missing my last attack. I will go ahead and use my last second level, or uh, second level divine smite. If if I crit next turn, I'm gonna be so pissed off. <laughs> nice. You have an inspiration still, right? Yeah, I do. Wait, what's she concentrating on? I don't know. Dominate person, maybe? Dominate, oh, you might oh, put it. right. Okay. And then she doesn't have an hasted, effect on her. That's weird. Anyways. Hasted attack. But if it's on Quillen, oh. it will count. Yeah, uh, the charmed concentration is still on him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. For my, okay, for my last attack, I can use that to grapple, right? Yep. A grapple yeah. is an attack action, yes. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I don't want her trying to run the fuck away. Okay. So she can oppose with, I guess, her dexterity? Athletics acrobatics or, or acrobatics. Yeah. For her. Yeah. Ah, she's not proficient in either. <laughs> so she'll use her dex, I guess. Opposed check two. Ooh. Fail. <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> smack her hard in the face and just... And just, just, just grab her and Do a lift, nice her feathery her, hug. lift her up off of her feet. Um, 
And I, I still have a shit ton of movement left. Can I drag her back? Here? Um... Can you drag... Someone who's you're a hostile that you're. Yes, you can. You can move someone if they're if you're grappling them. At, I assume half the point speed. Of I assume half them. speed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I, I still had like, I, I I used less than sixty feet of movement to get there. I can use my bonus action to dash, which is another sixty. So. And it's only thirty feet to come back there. So at half yeah. speed. Yeah. yeah. Uh Okay. Yeah. It I clicked it, didn't go. <laughs> Not I don't know. Dragon Bait rushes forward. But his stumpy little legs can't get him there. Pointing aggressively at the big guy. There is sounds of paper and chanting and shit coming on from the library. Don Quinn, Terror Bird. Terror Bird also will attack. The dog. Got him. Um, target has to make a DC 12 constitution saving throw. Okay, you can drop that on him. Oh, I'll do that myself. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Success. Barely. Dang it. <clears throat> Okay. Take that. All right. It's the Dark Father's turn. Uh, yeah, it'll it'll just um. Uh. Sure, it'll it'll life drain you again. Uh, it's a hit. Can't target you because there's no attack roll. What? No, don't drag the map around. Stop. Ah, oh, that was some lag. 12, again, 12. 12 points again! Um... <laughs> Aha! You can't regain hit points. Jonah! Fireball? Or... Fireball? Not fireball, but... <laughs> if only. Yeah, okay. he's not gonna he's not gonna use Fireball. catapult on the incorporal, so. Okay. For you Fuck. Fuck. Fail. Uh yeah, okay. Blackwind. Okay, okay. So <laughs> Me and Blackwind will eventually <laughs> get her. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where you guys are. <laughs> Not a clue. If you allow me to move there, then I will... Taking oh, the shit. long way around. You can yeah, see artists in ice armor and Quillen holding Zendal at the end of the hall. You know all of these people. Do you have a longbow? <laughs> no. 20. <laughs> And that would be 30 movement. You can see a group of men tossing books into an orb in the middle of the room. The one guy is staring directly at you as you walk around the corner. Um, let's see here. What is that? <laughs> I pull out Ouroboros and put a stink cloud. Ah, shit! <laughs> I use three charges. Fancy. Stinking cloud. They have to make a... Let's see here. So, 20 foot radius of nauseating gas centered on the point. Is that... Where's the fire that they're throwing it into? There's it's no a, fire. It's a, there's a floating orb right here in the middle oh, of the room. right there? Yeah. Okay, so... 
I'm, I've covered the orb. Yeah. So um, lingers. Oh yeah, so it lingers in the air. If there is any wind, which I doubt, it seems like we're in a building. Or very little. Um, they must make a constitution saving throw versus poison. On a failed save, they spend their turn retching and reeling. Oh no. Okay. If they don't need to breathe then, or immune to poison, or they automatically succeed. Well, neither of those things are true, so I guess they're going to have a bad time in a moment. <laughs> yeah. So. And so that was 30 action, and that's my turn. All right. Just the big old stink bomb gets <laughs> released. <laughs> Back here, huh? Aelin, I'm gonna lay on hands full full amount with Dragon Bait soon, so help you out. Yeah, I better keep missing. Yep. God. God. You start bothering. They're cursed. Your dice are cursed. <sighs> oh God. Aelin's become critical. The Dark Father still lives. <laughs> Uh, artist turns back and he's like, "Oh, I know you. Uh, yes, good job. Take care of those guys." And he uh, pulls a potion out of his belt and drinks it. Yes. And then, uh. He walks up here, and he will conquer on the head with his dagger. Bonk. Bonk. One more try. Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. Alright. Tried. He tried his best to subdue her. <laughs> it's Zendala's turn. Uh, Zendala. Um, okay, she'll start by, uh, she'll start by acid splashing you, Quillen. Oh. Uh, don't. It's a, <laughs> it's a deck save. I will use my You have advantage on those already. I have advantage on those already. Taste. I have advantage on those already. <laughs> Fuck! <Okay. sighs> Why am I so slow? <laughs> 11 Five. points, which will drop you, so you release her. <sighs> So yeah, you you grab her and she Arthur walks up with the pommel. And he's like, punk, 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 and she's like, pff, 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 and then sploosh, acid in, in your face. You fall. She she turns, looks at Artis, looks down, sees Blackwind down there, looks over, sees the rest of you at the end of the hall, and she and she's like, Gah! let's try this one more time, and she will. Use meta magic to quicken, and she attempts to polymorph artists. No, she can't do that. Fuck. Or no, wait. She used a cantrip first, right? You can still cast a spell as a bonus action if you use a cantrip, right? So if you quicken, uh, acid splash is a cantrip. Yeah, acid splash. Then, yeah. Is a cantrip. then yes. Okay, so she can do, but you know what? No, she's so close to dead. She's not an idiot. Okay, um, she, in frustration, uh, 
Uh, yeah, she she doesn't even need to quicken. She just uh, she'll misty step. Counter spell. Should have just hit her. <laughs> and then she'll use her movement. <laughs> you but said you said the whole room was icy. Does that mean it's like slippery. everything's frozen over? I.e., you can't see out the windows or open the low windows. <laughs> she then runs over, object interaction, opens the window, hops out. It's not, not frozen? Nope. Um. Archie. She got like four, like four hit points left. She had to freaking well, bounce to the other side. If I had not dragged her back, Artis would not have been able to then come up and melee her. Three I guess times. that's true. Quillen, you are unconscious. You need to make a death save. Sure. I thought that was a nat one. Still. One fail. One fail. Oop, oh, shit. Dragon bait glances. Hi, dragon bait. Glances back at at Quillen and Artis. Looks over at the bird and Aelin. You feel, you smell um a sudden burst of I think it's ham. Love those Ew. bursts, bursts of ham. Yeah, you, you suddenly <laughs> smell ham. <laughs> Strong scent of ham in the in the. Um, but he he will step forward and attempt a swing. Jesus Christ, the nineteen. That's probably gonna kill it. Yep. Again, very low hit points left. Big big slashes into the creature, discorporating it with holy energy. guy rushes forward holding books in his hand into the cloud does he need to make a save if he moves into it i assume it, if they start to turn in it uh each at the start of his turn must make a constitution saving throw versus poison so um okay so he wasn't didn't start his turn in it no okay uh the other i'll just make three rolls what's the dc uh, actually, does it say or Boros what it does? The save? So oh, I don't know if it does or not. If it just uses my spell casting ability, which would be twelve, I think. Twelve. Okay. Why is so it right now? the <laughs> the two guys, the one guy r runs in without a care in the world and tosses books in there. Um, the other two start doubling over, retching. Oh. DC 15, it says on the weapon. All 15. The other three start doubling over retching. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the start of, your t of the, their turn. The, this guy also moves in, tosses some books in. Moves back to the shelf. This other guy would move back to the shelf. That's their turns. So they're puking, those three? The, the three in the circle are puking. The other guys kind of just run in with books, toss them into the thing, and then run run back out to grab more books. Donna Quinn, Terror Bird. I uh, will. What, what round did you wild shape? I can do it for three hours. Oh, shit. Never mind, Carol. I thought it was like a minute. <laughs> 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 um, yep, so I'll just, I don't... Yeah, I don't know what's going on or anywhere else so like that, so like I can see Quillen and 
Argus is right down, I'll sit down there, so I'll just run down the witcher Like a hundred feet? Yep. Can't see anything more than I can see before. Squat. Gonna runs up. The danger passed. Guess I'll follow my friends. Blackwind. That's motherfucker. Have some fries, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, minimum damage. <laughs> but it's heavy. <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not very hardy. <laughs> Uh, all I had to do is probably not roll minimum anymore. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that I kind of rolled my eyes at the one there, but... Yeah. <laughs> of course he didn't uh, kill him. Impressive. <laughs> our, this has been our bane this fight, is how low our damage rolls have been. Really, when you think about it, we haven't had Ep epically low damage I don't think damage rolls oh! are my problem. <laughs> this guy's going to have a real bad day. Yeah, he he's dead. Oh, it didn't didn't do the. Uh... Yowza! It's it's seven hit points. <laughs> it should have been more. Three than that. hit points. In three. <laughs> it exceeded it by twenty-seven. It only rolled. It rolled. Uh... Oh no! Right, no, that's right. I just didn't have my uh, hunter's mark on him. That's why it's so different. It's okay, Ryan. He's dead. Doesn't no, matter. it's not okay. <laughs> It could have I been just, more. Uh, that was how much movement? 10, 15? Aelin. I raise my Dark. movement. Oh, you got stuck. Uh, run into the corner of the wall. Ah! <laughs> As a bonus action, I'm going to turn off Radiant Consumption. And for my action, I'm going to keep moving down the hallway, and I'm just going to be like, God, God damn it, this fucking God. Son of a... <laughs> yeah. <sighs> damn it. Why did Artist drink his potion? <laughs> um, he will attempt a medicine check to stabilize Quillen. Uh... I don't know how I did that, but that was an accident. <laughs> I copied text. Uh... Not 20! Quillen, nice. your eyes flutter open with one hit point. Ah. As you see, ah. you see a man with ice armor kind of receding off of him, doing chest compressions on you, or trying to. <laughs> Live, damn it! <laughs> Live! Uh, dude, she's getting away. Go, go, go! What are you doing? And he kind of nods. He's like, looks back at the <laughs> you guys running in the hallway. He's like, ah, he'll live. Extends his hand and helps you to your feet. <laughs> This big bird coming down the whole hallway. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? Zendala turns around and tosses a fireball back through the window. Oh, just oh, god! <laughs> okay, I I've got one hit point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least you're not down. <laughs> that haste is really working for you. Yep. 
Artist is alive. Boom! <laughs> Quillen is live. Dami pulls you to your feet, fireball. Boom! <laughs> Quillen's right back out again. Artist stag on the staggers. It's like little bitch. <laughs> that potion that he drank saved his ass. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 by extension saved my ass. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Then then there's... you see through the window. She kind of like looks looks to the north and just blinks out. <laughs> Oh, wait. If she casts Fireball, she can't also Misty Step, right? Because they're both spells. No, nope, that's level correct, two. Correct. Yeah, sorry. I keep fucking that up. Sorry. I figured because it's a bonus action, I can do it, but that's not true. Because nope. I used my action on Fireball. She could have done that. She could have cantripped and done that. Okay, whatever. Yes. So she just looks north, looks back, and then runs north. <laughs> If someone can get me back up, I can go get her. No, well, your expedition you... retreat is down, right? Because you went unconscious. Oh yeah. Expeditious is down. Haste but, is still going. But with my haste, I might, I possibly could get there. How many? Do, how many um, do you have walked on haste? If your haste, oh, oh, oh no, because yeah. Archie's concentrating on the haste, right? Did it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Archie. I'm hey, that's so you, me. You just see another fireball crash into those two. See Quill and like. Get pulled up and then immediately explode and sit down back down on the ground. Jesus. Okay. If I run up a bit. With that cloud, can I see the orb inside? Or can I just do I just see a cloud? Uh, stinky. It's obscured. It's heavily it's, uh... obscured, yeah. It's just a green cloud of smoke. You can't see it. Alright, Archie Archie has no idea what's going on then. But you can see this guy grabbing books. That's about it. You can hear guys puking. Yeah, yeah you can Quillen. hear retching from inside the cloud. <laughs> Quillen's down. She's if she saw the orb eating books, one that's one thing, but she can't see it. So that's I hate I hate everything about this. All I'm doing is running. Quillen, give me a death saving throw. Damn it! All right, natural twenty. Here we go. My, my 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 last failed save reset right because I got pulled up. Uh, it did, resets because you got it, pulled it up. It should have. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. Natural one. Damn it. What a success. Yes. Oh, I guess that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon bait stumpy little legs as he. <laughs> Don't I know a dragon bait? As far as he can go. Right? I think. Yeah. <laughs> Walks back. Uh, yeah. Walks back into the cloud. <laughs> Mom moment later. Comes back out. Uh, these guys are all going to have saves again. Just roll them quick. As they continue to retch and puke in the cloud. Thank God. Good call. That was great, Ryan. Donna Quinn. Um, I run 100 feet and start that uh, stuff straight again. Do you, I don't think takes, you have to run that far. Takes me almost and start that to the edge of whatever. 45. Why? Why? Why what little Don Quinn moves? There we go. Please from Don Quinn. Whoa, look at all this. Th um. Is that it, or? I was just. Are there windows also up north? Yeah. Okay. Um. I see them. I saw which way she went, right? Yeah. Okay, I want I will actually go towards uh, 100 feet up towards the window at the top. <laughs> Instead of going straight, I'll go oh, up towards. Angle. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I saw her turn on uh, so left. I'll go to the closest window on uh, that way. Sure. Uh, you can see her. Well, can you? There you go. Now it you takes can. 95 to get to the window. So I don't want her to be able to see me. 
if I see... Actually, I wouldn't know, like, saying... Yeah, you wouldn't know where she's standing until you got to there, right? Or, well, <clears throat> uh... You would see her... Uh, you would see her... There. This is... At this point, you would see her. Okay, so I want to get as close to the window and stuff like that and stuff where she can't see me through the window. So it's slowly down. Like, yeah, so something like, like that. Like here, I think. Yeah, I don't want her to, like, nope, she can fireball me. <laughs> if she... Yeah, she can't if she happens out. to look and sees a big bird in the window. Well, if the window is closed, she can't. She can't go through the window. Oh, that's true. It'll it would the fireball would hit the window, but if you're standing on the other side of the window, I would rule that the fire a fireball would explode right through the glass and hit you anyways. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like so it would just impact on the window and explode inwards. It's not a protective shield. <laughs> but okay, yep, that's what I will do. All right. Jonah, can he get... it. He can't get within 60 feet. Uh, there? Is that 50? Yeah. A black wind. You have slain one foe. This guy is mindlessly tossing books back and forth. Hi. <laughs> okay. Respect the written words, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Can I show you something? Can you take this to the hospital ward for me? <laughs> well, <Wow>, it's alive. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try to trip him. <laughs> That's why, I, if I do, I can. Uh, sure, you succeed. I succeed. Yeah, he doesn't. He's not fighting back at all. Okay, <laughs> and then I will. Follow up with a fancy flourish and not barely hit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got one hit point. He's dead. Salam. That's nice. enough. Fuck. Fuck holy. I don't know what you call it. I really wanted uh... you to just throw him into the orb. <laughs> <laughs> Get see. those books back. <laughs> Yeah, and I'll stop there for a moment. Okay. <laughs> Alan! Uh, hearing Dragon Bait plodding up behind me, I'm gonna be like, oh shit. I'll turn around and be like, uh, thank you. I, I don't know why it smells like ham, but thank you. <laughs> Not for the ham smell, but, you know. And then, uh. You, you, oh, you smell God. briefly the scent of lemons. <laughs> I love that he does that. It's so cool. Boy. Wonder how he does displeasure. I think I've got that smell over here. Use my action to run past Colin, and I'm just gonna kind of look to Artis <laughs> and uh, and and kind of look into the room and, and say, "Do you do you know where did she go? Did she?" I. Which way did she go? You would have. Did you? Would he have seen her fireball through the window? I would have seen the fireball, but I don't know if I would have seen where she went because it would have like. I would have like maybe I. I guess I probably would have seen her leave north, but the the minute she was out of the window, I would have no idea. Yeah, art artist. <laughs> It drops back down on Quinn oh. and he's like, Little oh. damn you! <laughs> attempts, to medicine, attempts to medicine check you again to try to stabilize you again. Natural 20. Natural 20. Do it again. Oh, you fuck, imagine. he failed. Or she's just coming up, she's like, it's okay, I got this. He got, I got, it worse. He got He got a six. He didn't go out and get a nat one, so he didn't let me make it worse. Doesn't... Um, as, as he's like, uh, as he's like giving, trying to give Quill an awkward like mouth to mouth on his beak, <laughs> he's just kind of like he he looks up at you. He's like, ah, north. Uh, she, she went north. Kind of kind of points to the to the big window. It's like your bird, I think, is going after it. <laughs> um, can oh, anybody see Zendala? No. Or wait. I mean, I per the Depends map, it, it's as I can, but 
I don't right. know if I can. <laughs> I think you can. Hopefully. Can you see her now? She's not yep. invisible. You can see her now? Yeah, no, I was saying I can. Oh, you can. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I thought you meant like you couldn't actually see her on the on your map. I was like, what? You, you can't? No. Why not? I was saying I can. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, glancing that way, art with artist pointing at um, at Zendala, you see Zendala do some sort of incantation, um, and then she just lifts off the ground and goes straight up. Oh, I can follow her. <laughs> Um, actually, no, there's a window in the way. I was going to say she could use her last meta magic and quicken that so she could counter it, but there's a window in the window window way. Um, oh, her flying speed would be fine. I can't. Stop it! Okay, there we go. Archie! Hey, that's me! No, Jeez. go, go, go. I, I have to get you up. Okay. Cause I, she wouldn't, Archie wouldn't have known that Jonah yeah. was coming around the other way, so she sure. would've, she'd run up and healing hands you. So. As much <laughs> as she really, really Really wants to go and kill her. Six to you. Skeleton <coughs> awakens again. And then uh, that's it. Okay. Oh, kind of I so I so wish I had another fireball right now. <laughs> I need to get out that window. Okay. I need to get to her before she's 120 feet away, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay. Wait. What? <laughs> my... Why did my... Oh, shit. Yeah, I yeah, guess you get your turn. turn. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll get up. Wah! Sure, that way? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still feeling zoomy. Artis is, <laughs> Artis is yes, like, oh, take the gods. He's alive. Uh, Yeah, so if I, if I can guess, I can get two of the window. Well, half movement, stand up. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, That's half your full well, movement. Okay. Okay. Well. Hmm. So. That's 15. insane when you're. Well, no, it's it. it's half his movement. Yeah. So half be, his movement. Yeah, half It'd your be... full movement. So. Fifteen. Yeah. Ah, okay, so okay. I can get so. So fifteen. With, with, my, with my normal. Hold on. Can I? Okay. Cool. So my normal movement, I can get there. Yeah, because half to stand up and then another and then you have 45. Then, I've got 45. Six, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Then if you dash, you have another 60. 60. Well, wait. So, can you can you 30. dash twice when you're hasted? I guess you can. You have a bonus action dash. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, no, I know. My extra action, action is to dash. He has both. Right he now. He doesn't have bonus action. He yes, he, oh, action. your expedition retreat is down. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, so you so can I'm use moving, the He's using the action, action to move, and he's using the hasted action to move. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I can... I will use my action. Well, haste also doubles his speed at base. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm already doing that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so okay. When so, so when you stand up... Him. Yeah, so haste does work that way. So half movement to stand up is 30 feet off. Because his double his base movement is sixty with haste on, so it takes thirty to stand up, and then he can move thirty and then thirty again with a dash. And then you can get yeah. So after you stand of... up, you've got ninety feet of movement, and your actions, Sir, your normal action. So where are you getting ninety feet of? Well, he's... so he okay, okay because he's hasted, his movement is sixty, right? Yeah, yeah. Then so stand, stand up okay. takes half of that, so he's got thirty up, left. Takes... So he's got 30 feet of movement. He uses his bonus action or his hasted action to dash. The hasted action can be used dash to dash. Is 60, yes, yeah, 90. Yeah. Another 60 feet. So you have 90 feet after you stand yes. up if you use your extra action to dash. Yes. That still leaves you with your action and your bonus action. 
Okay, correct. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So I just moved, I've moved 45. So I've moved, I spent. So you have another 45 feet of movement. Another, so I will if you want first just spend 15 to go to the window. Do I, do I see her anywhere? No. I don't see her anywhere. No. I will continue. So you out. got 30 feet left. Over here. Walking or flying? I'm, or... I'm, 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 all of this is me flying. I see. Yeah. To, to where? Sorry, I'd open the window if she can't see it. Yeah, uh, that's fine. I, I look up and around out to your anywhere. Uh, now you will. Yeah. <coughs> She's up in the air, about sixty feet over there. Do you have any ranged anything? Just checking. One second. Sorry, guys. Where the fuck? Uh, where is it? And just to be clear, because you said you were flying. Are you just yeah. like five feet off the ground, or did you go to an angle? I mean, I'm, I'm flying to where I'm going, right? So, you, so, you, so you land on the ground there. Yes. Okay, that's just just checking. I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah. Where you were. I didn't know if you still had movement or anything left. I wasn't really. Okay. I, I'm I'm trying to confirm how many channel divinities I get per day. If I still have one, then I think I can it's do something. two. And you use uh, one it legendary goes up to two at a certain level. And, uh, I, and, and, and I'm looking for that. It's not in the channel divinity section. It just tells me what my channel divinity options are, but not how many I get. Paladin. Yeah, just look at the paladin actual write up. And set in the class yeah. write up. Uh, I You may only get one. Pa uh, Clerics get more than one, but paladins, I think, only get one. In my paladin write up, there's no specific. Channel Divinity. Your oath allows you to channel divine energy to fuel magical effects. Each channel divinity option, uh, when you use your channel divinity, you choose which option. You must then finish a shorter long rest to use channel divinity again. So you get one per rest, but it, res per it refreshes on a short rest. Yeah. Okay. Um, because I can use a channel divinity to regain a spell slot. If I regain a spell slot, then I can guiding bolt. Um. I'm just double checking. Well. I don't think you can do that anyways, because the hasted action... Oh, you still have your normal action, never mind, Kara. Yeah, so I, I, all of this is, is based on the fact that I still have an action I can do. And a bonus action. And a bonus action I can do, yeah. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. What's the range of my spear? 60? Fuck. Uh... She's 80, right? She's sixty. Oh, she's up. exactly yeah, but she well, she's sixty away and then sixty up. Right. Well, right, but we do angles the it same as the others, so then fuck it, I will throw both my spears. <laughs> yeah. You have inspiration if you really don't yeah, like her. Yeah, <laughs> I will. I will. I will use my inspiration. So that means you drop your weapon, right? Yeah. And. You won't be able to throw one. Natural 20. He only needs to throw one. Nice. No, he could throw two. 
He's using his action to attack. Hold on, sorry. That I you did. I I didn't drag it onto her. I just double clicked. But should I do it again? Just, I... just roll another. It's another d6, right? So six damage. Yeah, but I I have an extra attack with my action though, don't I? Yeah, but you yeah. only have one object interaction to draw a weapon. Uh, can he? Oh, can you, you can't. can't you don't draw a weapon attack. for free. You have to use True. your object interaction to draw. Actually, you don't. You don't even have the object interaction to draw the weapon because you use your object interaction to open the window to go out. It, he wasn't. That it was already open. The, the one he went out. No, that this was the one she went open. out. That's the one he went out. No, no he I went out. out. He I, went out I, I went out of that one because I, that's when I thought was open already. Oh. Well, either way, I yeah. So, so I could not have done that, is what you're saying. You could. I, I'm fine with the first throw, but you don't have another spear to throw. Okay. Well, right, you have another enough. physical spear, but you don't have any more. You can't draw and throw two spears in a round. Although I just realized Blackwind did that earlier, so that throws I, wrong as I well. I think you have I, ones. I, I'm pretty sure you can. Like you can. Spears are also depending on the spear, though. Spear is more of a melee, and then side throwing option. Yeah. It's no. Not it, like, it, it does have a range. It's got a range problem, does. Oh, same that. as a javelin but does. A javelin is a smaller, and you usually oh, have. No, it doesn't matter. It won't have different rules. Yeah. So yes, yeah, you can. That if is You can true. do it with a javelin. You can do it with a spear. So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, carry on. So, so are you saying I have a second throw? Yeah. Okay. Because she didn't go down with the first throw. <laughs> you didn't check click advantage, but you used your inspiration, Brad. So either give yourself the inspiration back or click advantage on the attack. Good point. Thank you. Uh... Oh. That's uh -oh. a miss. All right. I, I have no bonus actions that I can really do. No, I, I will use, sorry, the last bit of thing that I can do, bonus action. Wait, hold on, shit. Is it? Never mind, it's a, it's an action. Never mind, move on. Mm -hmm. Dragon bait. <laughs> Dragon bait runs over and lays on hands artist. Uh... I can't believe she's gonna get away. Mm -hmm. All three of those guys spend their turn retching. Can't I can't beat a DC fifteen. Can't do it. Adonikwin, you are a bird, sir. Um, does that window above me uh stuff look um we can have fun stuff that can just jump through it? Uh and yeah. yeah. You <clears throat> might you I might don't. take some damage from the slashing glass, but Um, I do it. I run straight through the big window. <laughs> Whee! Nice. Whee! You love it! <laughs> you bust through the window. Take two points slashing damage. Okay. You see Colin throwing spears into the air. <laughs> oh, you can't see um, the seas, can you? But I can see Zendala now, yes? Eh, mm -hmm. Get out! Yeah, okay, there you go. Okay, I will run towards her until like that with my movement. As I'm running on stuff, I will use my bonus action to transform back into my normal form, targeting Zendela on stuff with a call of lightning. Nice! Oh. <laughs> Using my inspiration on stuff so she has disadvantage. Just, just hold on. So you move 30 feet. You have 50 feet of movement. Yeah. So you move 50, one, two, like towards her, you said. Yep. And then bonus action shift back to Donna Quinn. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Action Just... call lightning. Wow. How close are you to her? Is she within 120 feet? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have damage with call lightning? I don't remember. Uh, I don't know it. Zendala will counterspell that. 
with her reaction. Counterspell the counterspell. You're Sorry. Still 60 feet? Oh. Yep. He would, wouldn't have been if Shun didn't run forward. Sorry. Because you, oh, you... you running forward puts her within 40 feet of you, so she counterspells it. I hate her so much. I'm sorry. I wish she still has spells left left. That was her last third level. She was going to fireball Quillen again. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah will do his full movement to run. Blackwind! They're still... Wretching. Is it clear enough that I can hit this guy? Uh, with disadvantage, you can't see through the smoke. Unless you want to drop the concentration. Well, I can walk in and not start my room. But... Yeah, you, but you still can't see him, so... Oh, he went right there. Although he's also heavily obscured, so he's got disadvantage because he's blind, so it's a straight attack. <laughs> I always forget how that works. If yeah. you're both if you're both in the cloud, like can't see each other, it's just straight combat, which is really weird, but anyways, yeah, you can get you can attack him. He's easy enough to pinpoint where he is because he's retching. <laughs> you can hear him. Walk over Black was <laughs> <laughs> just one by one. Hey, you killed him for a shot this time. Nice. <laughs> um, you hear Poppin'. upon killing that guy, Blackwind. You hear something. It kind of goes. Whoosh. You don't nice. know what else happened, but some sort of weird noise. The humming stops. Move there. Why are they so just don't... destroying libraries? I don't understand. Knowledge is power. If they destroy it, they don't have it. Yeah, but they already know it. Aelin! They know. Because <sighs> knowing's half the battle, so if we don't know, if we're not knowing, then we've lost half the battle already. Another heavy sigh. And then, <laughs> once again, using word of the spirit, everyone in 600 feet hears me say, the assassin that tried to kill the merchant prince Xanthi is north of the meeting chamber, heading west, flying through the air, trying to escape. And then I'm going to run up to the window that Donna Quinn so helpfully busted through. <laughs> I just... Uh, five, ten. Love it. 15, Love the image. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, I, I, I went around. Went, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you're stuck on the wall again. Wait, here? Wait, here? Uh, yes. Yep. Artist turns, puts his hand on Dragon Beat. He's like, ah, much better. Thank you, my friend. And then he looks at you, Archie, and he's like, are you, are you okay, girl? Oh, <laughs> I, I look like crap. But he he, he, he kind of <laughs> nods and he's like, and he just kind of like he tries to if that would let me. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of runs up there to try to see if he can see sees Alan out the window. He's like he calls back over his shoulder, hurt you, and goes, "Ah, brother's alive at least." Uh, Zendala will double move. Actually, she will misty step and then double move fly away. So that moves her 150 feet to like the northwest. North okay. east, northwest. Uh, and that's her full turn. Oh shit! <laughs> No, no, it's good. It's all good. Uh, Archie! <laughs> ah, well, there's... I cannot get anywhere that I can see her while only moving 30 feet. Um. Could you haste yourself? 
Yes, I could. That's an interesting... Hmm. So I still don't know if I can catch her. Hasted. So that gets... If yeah, I haste myself... Double move fly every turn. You also uh, don't know what's been going on outside at all, because you can't see any of that. Well, I could see Colin throwing spears. I could see my brother run out, and I could see Donna could run out. Basically. And she heard Aelin but you know what? To everyone. Yeah, <laughs> and, and then Aelin, yeah, and then Aelin said it. So you know what? I am gonna haste myself. Okay. Quillen's stunned. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so that's my action. So I get sixty feet of movement. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, technically it's not stunned, but it's effectively. I'm just putting it there for okay. Mark. Yeah, because he can he can still take what? reactions. What is happening? Why am I moving? So I can get to here with normal movement. Stuck on the wall. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so that's my that's my sixty. I'm currently have my wings out, so I can fly sixty with the dash action. Yeah, yeah. So I can move one hundred and twenty per round. Technically, 180 if I move, dash, and use my dash for my action. Basically, my goal is to get within 120 feet of her without using my action. However, if that takes a couple turns. Well, yeah, it, won't, it won't be this turn. Yeah, no. Because I can't. She's off the map and stuff, so yeah. I'm. So you've, I used, don't know your, if you've used your action and your move. Right, so I can dash with my extra hasted action to get 60 towards her. 60 you're, towards her? Okay. So you're yeah. 90 feet from her now. You're 90 feet from her? Okay. Okay. Because she's 150 from me. Are you done? I will... Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Quillen, you're stunned for this turn. Uh, it only lasts for one turn, right? Yeah. It's actually until the end of his turn. So he's after this, he's fine. Yes, that's yeah. what I mean. So he's stunned. Yeah. So that's his turn. Uh, Dragon Bait will move with... Oh, there's only two of these guys I need to roll saving throws for now. Let's say they both fail, they spend their turns retching. Uh, Donaquin. Amazing. Um, they must have low constitution. <laughs> I'm If I move 30 feet and stuff like that, is she 120 away from me then? Uh, if you move 30, She's exactly one. you'll be here. She'll be 10. She'll be 160 feet from you. She was oh, 150 from where she was. Okay, then I don't want to hunt. I. Mm. Um, I'm just yeah, looking, I at the, looking at the map of Port Nanzaro. Is she off the platform now? She she's one, she, even if I move 30, she's still 160 away from me? Yeah, because she misty yeah, stepped and then double move fly. So she was 150 away from me, so. Yeah, you, you would have to be 30 feet. Away from Aelin towards her in order to be within 120. Yeah, she she's not quite above. Oh no, wait, Golden Throne. Actually, yeah, she she's where she's sitting. Just so you guys know, because you're up on that big hill, right? Where she is flying, she's like out above the street, like you know where those ruins were roped off that were filled with water. 
she's like above she that street now. She's she's not above the mountain of gold, where Golden Throne sits anymore because she's flown that far out. Um, probably one or two more rounds, she'll be over the north wall of the city if she keeps going in that direction. Just okay. Like, well, instead of doing that and all stuff, I'll move over on stuff to go in here. And I will heal him. Oh, thanks, buddy. With your okay. Third, third level. Nice. Nice. Can't do anything about this time. Okay. Okay. Uh, double moves into the room. Pat, pat, pat. What's going on? <laughs> Black wind. <laughs> Three down, two to go. Mm. Oh, fuck, I thought it was a four. <laughs> Almost was. Six more rounds of stinking cloud. There's no way these guys survive. Aylin. <laughs> um, I'm gonna double move as far as I can, as long as there's still ground beneath me towards following her. Uh, you will get to the the far northern wall of where the where the golden throne like. The Shroud's Golden Throne? The campus wall? Yeah. Um, how high is the wall? <clears throat> uh, it's probably... It's not super high. It's probably like 20 feet. Okay. It's not, it's not like long, a big like, castle it, wall. Is it 80 feet to get to the wall? Or I get there before my 80 feet? Um, I would say... Uh, I don't know. I'd say it's probably like 60 feet or so the wall she's probably out like, near the middle of the street it's like floating above of course way up mm -hmm. um yeah i'm gonna go as far as i can and try and climb as much as i can up the wall okay um give me an athletics check yep i know i love those Ugh. you don't make much progress trying to climb that wall yeah and as i'm running i will continue to yell to everyone within 600 feet that the assassin Zendala blonde hair in a cloak half elf is traveling northwest towards the north wall and the blade fangs will pay 500 gold oh, to shit. anyone that brings her down nice nice <laughs> As Colin's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like I know she sucks, but I mean, <laughs> it just co comes over, kind of looks around, kind of, kind of, kind of sees like Archie, because you're flying too, right, Archie? I am. And you're sorry, I'm trying to keep track of how far you are. You're ninety um, feet from her. She's one. I'm ninety 50. feet from her. She's yeah, 150, I'm so I'm 70. I'm 60, yeah. So I'm yeah. 60 from like where, uh, that yeah, where Donna Quinn started. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Artist kind of like looks and sees you up in the air and sees Aelin climbing the wall. Kind of just lets, yeah, out, a, lets out a sigh. Uh, Zendala. She will quicken cast. Yeah, she'll do it. Uh, she quicken and upcasts Fireball to fourth, and Fireball is you, Archie, in the air. I thought she used her last spell slot to counterspell. Third level spell slot. She has fourth as well. Third level spell slot. Mm. She used her fifth for dominate. She used one fourth for ice 
or not for Ice Storm, for something. But she has another force she can up yeah. fast. The second, the second you said you're within 90, I was like, oh no, I should, that, Archie should have been smarter than that. You do have advantage Seriously? on the save. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. Oh, I'm dead. I might be dead, dead. Actually dead. Instant death. Yep. 37. Archie gets boom! She just kind of like spirals out of the sky. Lands, unfortunately, given trajectory and everything, nearly where Aelin's standing on the ground. And the craters in the ground. <laughs> Zendala kind of then double flies over the wall. And she shouts She sh shouts back. She's like, How does she should have just let me go. Because she quick cast. She used quick in her last meta magic to quick cast the fireball. So she uses... That's a bonus action. As a, as a bonus action. As a bonus action. Oh, and then she used her action and her move to fly 120 over the far wall. And she shouts back, and she's just like, You should have just let me go! Archie! Oh. I didn't mean to get that close. Quillen! I will... Did I, like, flop? Like, did I fall down on the ground when I was stunned, or am I... No, you still stay standing. I'm gonna just run towards where I see Archie and Aelin. Uh, that will move. I, I, I'm not hasted anymore, so it's just 60, so it'll take me a while to get there probably, but yeah. So we'll say you're up there somewhere. I can't move you further north. Yeah, it's fine. I think we're kind of using our imagination with the map at this point, anyway. Which is what fucked me. What? That's what screwed. That screwed me. I wouldn't have gotten within 150, but I couldn't see. The dark. Well, can... The dark guy with a 14 <laughs> uh, stays retching that turn. Uh, Sean had to go put Aiden down. What did he say? Sure. Uh... Oh, the. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna double move as well that direction. Joan is inside. Wouldn't have seen any of that, so he's just gonna double move out because everybody else is out there. Blackwind. I will Let's see <laughs> leisurely cleaving down. Actually, I'm gonna try to grapple him. Yep. Uh, you succeed. He doesn't resist. Okay, and then it takes another. I got 15 feet of movement, but I'll move back out of the there. I'll drag him with me. Okay. Um. And can I now push him into, like, or, like, kind of throw him over as an action? Sure. Yeah. yeah. You still have an, an attack action, so I'd let you. Yeah. Sure. So, like, I'll throw him whatever you let me just out of the uh, stink cloud. Okay, just, yeah, sure. You can probably toss yeah. him over to the wall. <laughs> he doesn't resist, so he'll just, like, hit the wall and drop prone. And I just have my glaive at his throat. Okay. Do you say anything to him? Or... No, I just... I try to make him wet himself with by intimidating him. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, just like sure. growling at him. Make an intimidation check. Not that great of a growl. He's probably too busy puking anyways to notice. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. 
Um, I'm gonna run over, basically scrabbling along the ground since I fell off the fucking wall over to where Aracellus fell and I jump on top of her and try to use healing hands blast radiant energy into her like a fucking defibrillator and then I think everybody in 600 feet just hears a scream of pain and rage and that's it Artis runs over here, kind of with a gasp. Um, Donna Quentin, he's not here. Jonah, uh, would he, he's not here either. Um, anyways, they would hear. Uh, Artis, Artis, kind of like, actually wouldn't hear, wouldn't hear anything. He just runs over to Dragon Bait, and like gra grabs him by the, sh the shoulder. Um, Sindala will misty step and double fly using her last second slot as well. It's another 180, so she's well over the wall. And you see her like arcing like downwards as well, like heading towards the ground. Um, but she's well, well away from you guys now. Quellen. Uh, same. I, if I get reach Archie this turn, I will put my last five land hands into her ineffectually okay. and uh, when it doesn't work be kind of at a loss for words that's assuming I'm close enough I don't know if I know uh, yeah I will say you are um, gonna drop out of initiative here because there's no sure. way at this point you guys are going to catch her. Sure. Um, Blackwind, uh, we'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, <laughs> Blackwind, uh, the the guy, you got so you got your glaive to him or whatever, right? Um, mm -hmm. The the guy doesn't seem to notice. Um, the, or even care. He just kind of like stands up, like, and just kind of like takes a step over and like grabs some books off the shelf. Um, and I'll just non well I'll uh, non lethally whack him in the head then. Sure. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll say for the purposes of this, you succeed. He's not fighting back. <laughs> but he's like. Fuck off. Whack! And back. He just kind of like bunk off the bookshelf and collapses to the ground. Always a chance I act. I, every time it seems like I try to non violently hit somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you could get rid of my gas. Okay, I no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll knock him just out. Just for wise. <laughs> Pack Oops. His, <laughs> pack the back, back of his skull off. I finally got a point. <laughs> non lethal. All right, and what do you do with it? Do you, are you gonna like drag his body, or? Yeah, I'll drag him by his cowl or whatever he was, whatever. Sure. Um, over in the northern section of the courtyard, you guys are like trying to revive Archie's charred and broken corpse on the ground um Artis and dragon bait donna quinn and jonah all kind of like rush up um Artis kind of like steps o over and kind of like kneels kneels down kind of examines archie gives kind of a cursory look um and then he he just kind of like closes his eyes and he's like Ugh. And then looks at you, Aelin, she's like, he, she, uh, she would have really liked to have seen you both. I know she would have. Uh, 
And he turns, looks up at Dragon Bait. He's like, "Is there anything you could do? Anything?" And Dragon Bait kind of like looks, looks at his hands, and then you smell, <laughs> um, like some smells like roses in the air, and then he kind of like points at his hands and points at Artis, like a used it all kind of gesture. And Artis kind of like looks again, and he's like, <sighs> well. Hmm. And he kind of like stands up, kind of like look, puts his hand like on your shoulder, Aelin. And, and he's like, this is my fault. All of this is my fault. Ah, I'm sorry. I should never have come here. I knew I should never have come here. And then he kind of like, kind of like a frustrated kind of like, kind of like steps and sort of kind of walks over to where the wall is. Um, and just kind of like leans one hand on the wall and kind of like stands there. You guys do anything? I think uh, uh, I would use the other feature of um, the uh, the visage word of spirit. Um, any creature that of my choice that I can see within 60 feet is the only one who can hear my voice. And I say to Artis, I, I just ask him I, why? Why were you here? Um. And he kind of like looks over his shoulder, and you can see that he does have like, uh, looks like he's he's got kind of like uh, tears kind of like welling in his eyes. He's just like, I just I just wanted to see her again. It's it's all been for her. I, and he kind of looks away again. And Quillen would like sort of stand up and look at Artis, and I'm not sure he knows what Dragon Base deal is, but like, I mean, look, I, I don't know that much about you, but you're like a legendary hero. Like, surely <laughs> you know of a way to fix this. He you turns, have to. He turns. He's like a legendary hero. There's no heroes in this world. That's a naive notion. We're just people. I don't believe that. Say it all you want. I don't believe that. It's like, well, live as long as I have. Let's see if you still think the same. Um, and you notice as well, Quillen, um, and Blackwing, you're probably about halfway or so dragging this guy, this unconscious guy, back. Um, um, Quillen, you will notice, you got a 15 passive. Uh, you're the only one that will notice this, actually. Um, you notice that his uh, his hand um, is uh, kind of like glowing, like a like a pale blue, um, just kind of like radiating underneath his like through his glove. It's like muted, but there's like this bluish light, and he's kind of like got it clenched in like a fist. Um, Dragon bait. Uh, uh, you you hear um. Are you here? Yeah, you smell the, the sound, the smell of uh, like fresh rain or like um. And then dragon bait kind of like walks over, and, and then he he kind of like lets out like a little like chirp, and kind of like touches. You, Aelin, and kind of like gestures you to move away from Archie's body. I don't think I would. And he he he, he kind of nods, kind of like sadly, and then kind of like po points at like his chest, and then he puts his hand on your chest, and he, he nods, and he kind of gestures again to move. 
I won't, like, yeah. I, I guess I would sort of, like, lean back, but I wouldn't move away. He, he kind of shrugs. Um, and then he uh, pulls his sword out, the one that's got, like, the pure white blade. Um, and he kind of, like, grips it in his hands. And then he kind of look, looks back at uh, at Artis. And Artis kind of, like, has been facing away. He kind of, like, looks over his shoulder. And then his eyes kind of go wide. He's like, Are you, No. You, are you sure? And Dragon Bait nods. Then there's kind of, like, a, a bit of a light. And you see on the pommel, there's a there's a glass. It looks like a, like a gem. Clear gem. It kind of... He kind of glows, and the gem just bursts. And then he drives the blade into down towards Archie, and it, as it does so, this kind of there's like a very bright like bl light um, that kind of is blindingly bright. Um, Alan, you probably are the only one not blinded, although it is still a little painful because but you're used to kind of like that <laughs> radiant consumption like light mm -hmm. um and you see he's not blinded and and you see that uh his he his body just kind of like discorporates and disappears um and archie you gasp and awaken with one hit point um, when you blink away the after image, um, Dragon Bait is completely gone, and there's just the hilt of the sword kind of lying in the grass. Oh, it's not still in me? Nope. <laughs> it's just well, a, I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> just, it's just a hilt uh, with, the, with that shattered with, uh, crystal at the end. Artist kind of like blinks a couple times. And he's like, uh, but... Uh, I, I would just sort of like do, I would start laughing not like a ha ha but this is <laughs> a funny hysterical yeah like <laughs> like very like like holy shit like that that sort of reaction thing it's, it's, and you, sorry, you said that Dragon Bait's body disappeared when He's he did gone. that mm -hmm. I, I, I would look up at artists and just say I thought you said that, that there was no such thing as heroes. He's like, he just kind of like stares at you and he's like, you'll come to learn, my friend. I'm wrong about a lot of things. Black Woman uh, tosses an unconscious corpse out the window. <laughs> <laughs> What I miss? <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm, I'm here. What's up? What do you... um, me me mechanic, just FYI, mechanically, um, he revivified you. It's the only okay. spell that works on the recently dead, up to a minute. We can say that was less than a minute. I, I was describing a lot of stuff. I mean, but there wasn't a lot of. For a lot of time. Um. Okay, so I, because uh, I was going to say, if I was dead, did I experience anything in that time? You know, that, <laughs> well, you know, well, I wasn't sure a, how long it was. Or what, question. You know, know with where we are, weird what's happening, shit. And all that that's shit. A, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think you're in shock. You did in your waking okay. kind of like shock. You don't remember it, but sure. you will. Okay. Mm. Next time. Well, I was just trying to gauge what my initial reaction would be, you know, if, if, there was, if it's, I'm just screaming or like, um, <laughs> it's all true. You know what? Oh um, no! <laughs> I've seen it all. Uh, or um, if you know, from my perspective, the, the it just was like yeah. The the only everything. thing you remember, other than an immense sense of like um, like emptiness, um, and also a very strong like it just felt like your entire like essence of being was being like torn away from yourself if that makes any sense um the the only other thing that you would probably remember even vaguely at this point would be mm -hmm. uh you would have been you would have heard a kind of like an echoing cry um 
that sounded like like an infant crying. And that's it. What was the the initial part was what being you said being torn away from myself? Mm -hmm. Um, speaking of torn away, there's kind of like a a sudden kind of like darkening around that sword hilt in where Dragonbait was standing, and then you see uh, what looks to be like this blackish mist kind of like rise from it, shudder in the air, and go screaming off somewhere to the southeast or southwest. Do I know that I died? Well, you weren't actually I mean, I... you weren't actually dead because okay. Uh, you, have, you have that minute where Revivify works essentially before well, yeah, your soul you is torn dead, from your body. That's, I mean, that's where Revivify works. Technically, it, it yeah. Revives a dead you. Yeah, like, yeah, you, you did were, die. Yeah. You were dead. Okay. It's just the it's the I only just... resurrection magic that still works is Revivify. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, and you might infer from the you coming back with Aelin, like, just wrapped around you, sobbing, just, like, shuddering, full body. <laughs> yeah, she's probably just, like, hugging you, but she's probably, like, in shock, just because I don't understand what just happened. I didn't see it. So she's probably just, like, You're at one hit point, too. You're probably just, like, not Oh, yeah, no, I feel like... <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm gonna have so much and, and believe me, we'll be rolling. Uh, we'll be rolling on some injury tables here. Oh in my the... god! <laughs> I went down twice. So did I. You also so got I. a nat one on one of your death saves. Death saves. Oh, and... I yeah. No, when you an artist looked at me, I already looked like shit before this. <laughs> the thing. So what I was trying to say earlier was the second I I had flown after her, and you're like, okay, you're within ninety, and then we moved on. I went. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to be that close. I want to be like exactly far enough away. And so I was I was calculating how many turns it would take for me to catch her by keeping my distance, by just like In incrementally, getting incrementally closer. getting closer because I only had like four or five yeah. rounds left on my wings. So I was I was I was trying to quickly do the math because I thought maybe you wouldn't fireball me this turn. I, I thought you might I was, I was contemplating, I'm like, I could fireball her, or my other thing that I was thinking of, because you were both within range, is like, maybe I'll upcast Magic Missile. <laughs> and knock you both out, because you are both so low. I'm like, ah, that has a chance to fail. Fireball's <laughs> automatically going to knock. Yeah. I, although I rolled extremely high, because it, it was a fourth level, so it had extra dice. I rolled <laughs> really... <laughs> Blackwood's like dragging this guy out. <laughs> what? what the hell's going on? What? What is what? <laughs> so I would uh I would look you didn't kill I... this one. <laughs> I have a pet. I left one alive. <laughs> Jonah's like, uh, good job, Blackwind. <laughs> Ten There's points. how many points? Ten points. I, I yeah, killed three points. of them though. Oh. Well <laughs> Jonah's <laughs> face kind of big drops a bit. <laughs> uh, I would I would walk over to the 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 sword hilt. You said it, it is just a hilt now. Yeah, it, just a hilt. The blade shattered. is completely gone, and the crystal in the end is is shattered. There's nothing left of it. I I would pick it up, uh, and then walk over to Artis, and just say, "What? What was her name?" Sorry, what was... Wait, I, I missed the last name, thing you said. What was their name? Oh, he... He kind of nods, he's like, ah. <laughs> Dragon bait. At least that's what I called him. I... <laughs> it's a long story. We fought a couple of We fought a dragon. Anyways. Um... Wait. He's... He was my... He was my friend. And stalwart companion, we... I wouldn't have made it this far without him. But he kind of like looks over at Archie and Aelin. He's like... I think she would be happy with this. Well, I... 
I don't know you. You don't know me. He I extends don't... his hand. Uh, Artist Kimber. <laughs> nice to meet I, you. I'm 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 Quillen. <laughs> uh, I've I've heard good things. For good. I've heard great things. Um, and, and he he kind of looks up. He's like, oh, sorry, sorry about this. And he he kind of like. Let's out like a sigh, and the light around his glove kind of goes out, and the snow slowly turns back to like a drizzle of rain, and it warms up like probably ten degrees. It was. Oh, so I was nice. kind of enjoying that, but I listen. I what what dragon bait just did is incredible, um, and I. I mean, it's that's. I left my home with the hope of being that sort of man. And I hope that you know, I will be someday. And I, I know that it doesn't, might not mean much, but you know, I I, I don't think I'm, I'll, I'll ever forget what I just saw. And I'll hand the hilt over to artist. He kind of looks at it and he's like, I don't, he didn't have family, but I'll make sure he was a stalwart champion of Bahamut. Um, I'll make sure that this is properly interred. And he kind of like tucks it into his, into his belt. He's like, well, shall we, uh, you're up for it. Shall we head out of, head back in and see what else? Oh God! Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, yeah. There was. <laughs> we should. We need to check on Xanthi. Oh my fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Archie, Aelin, are, are, I, I, is there anything I can do? I don't. I, you, you two should stay here. You two should stay here. My hat is just like um, still on fire. <laughs> Donna Quinn kind of like kneels down and, he's, and he, he'd probably be like, uh, let me help you. And he would probably cast another healing spell on you. Like I, cure wounds. I don't yeah. want to presume, but I feel like Jonah might as well. Maybe Donna Quinn on Archie and Jonah on Aelin. Because I mean, Aelin's hurt too. Pretty yeah. bad. So. Yeah, that would make sense. Well, J well Jonah's well, only I got think... like healing word though, so it's not sure, really yeah, good. Yeah, good point. Yeah, no. Listen, let's let's get yeah. back inside at least. Um, if you if you find Xanthi, I gave my potion to the city guard captain. If he hasn't used it, I can just take that. Oh, uh, okay. our just kind of oh. steps over and like looks down at the cloaked body here, and he's like, uh, "So where'd you find him?" They were annihilating uh, or whatever. They were vaporizing books in the library so oh shit oh, the God. library oh yeah i i <laughs> i totally forgot about that black wind so there's a nightmare why just crying because she's just like i just wanted to read some books <laughs> there might i i think the, like i don't know how long they were in there for but there's definitely gonna need a mop-up job on bodily fluids of many types <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I, I feel like I feel like this entire place could there's there's kind of bodies and viscera everywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Let's let's go. Let's, let's head inside. These guys don't seem to. They probably don't talk much, but I figure maybe. What the hell? Um. Okay. When I went down, mage armor, I think, doesn't go down with me because it's not concentration or anything. Uh, it, You've got... Does it? Mage armor does end because you actually died. Oh, right. Not just unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, you do have your healing hands, though, don't you? No, I use that to bring up Quillen. Ah. Uh, um, I will re-mage armor myself, though, as... A, as when well, I get... I'm up. Well, I... As, as, as you guys head in, um, before I forget, let, let, I, I just want to make sure um, I know who's injured. <laughs> so let's just do those rolls real quick. Um, so who went who went down? Quillen, 
So Quillen, you went down twice? Maybe two times. Twice? Yeah. And did, did you fail any death saves? You failed one, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, I failed one. So base ten. I'm so, I'm in so much trouble. Each additional time brought to zero is increases by five, so fifteen. Um Death saves one fail adds plus two seventeen. Did you take you didn't take max damage in a single hit? You weren't brought to zero from a crit? No. No. And you only had one death save total? One death fail? Uh, total? Death fail total. One. Correct, yes. Okay. One, yeah. So your your DC for injury is seventeen. Okay. And is it's that a, a constitution? It is a constitution saving, saving throw. throw. Nice, twenty-three, good stuff. And that's and that's succeeding by five. Doesn't that give me some kind of no. buff or something like that? No, it's a, <laughs> if you really. fail by five, it's even worse. Okay, okay. Um, so you succeed. So you don't have an auto injury. You yeah, you didn't no fail exhaustion. by five. No, you're good. Okay, so you're okay, Archie. Um, I'm gonna say you have an auto injury. You were brought to zero. Uh, yeah. Uh, or you were like dead, so you're gonna have an automatic injury. Um, how many times did you go down? Just once? I went, Twice. Well, other than the death, I went down one other time. <laughs> and then you and also I, had, so two, I had so a 20, crit fail on my roll, so two death saves 15, the first time. So fifteen, twenty. So you're gonna have a DC. Single hit damage equals max, yes, plus 10, does not stack with crit. You have a DC 25 con save? You... <laughs> I can't make that. Yeah, but you can maybe avoid a second injury. Can, can you get to 21? Yeah, just st stick close to me, I will Archie. say, with Quillen, stick close does Quillen's count? No, I don't it doesn't. Think so. It doesn't count. Because you technically you take it when you take the hits, not... A nat 20 can get me to 21. I have a plus one of my con. So... I okay. guess. So technically you're not try. twenty yet. Okay. So you're you're going to take um <laughs> three injuries. You're going to take a l well, two. Well two no, it, it's not two injuries, it's stacks. You're gonna take a major injury. Okay. Not not mm -hmm. a because it's gonna move up because you failed by five or more. <laughs> and it's automatic because of the brought to zero. Okay, so they, they're not rolled separately. It's for one. Full no, it just increases combat. the severity of the injury. Gotcha. So you're so because you took so much damage and went down and had the nat the negative the nat one death fit saves. You're going to be you're going to take a major. So your injury threshold is going to go to five on this body part. So let's let's move over to body parts. <laughs> I'm gonna be crippled. <laughs> um, can you roll? Uh, can you roll a d8 plus a d12, please? D8 and d12. I don't, I don't remember if high is good or low is good. High is good. I'm rolling them from Jonah because I was accidentally on him. So but. 12. Um, can you roll a d6 so we can find out the location? Two. It's going to be your right arm that's severely injured. Um... Injury threshold. Major injury. Let me just pull up my thing and I'll tell you what it does. Um, intermediate. Major. <laughs> your hit point maximum is reduced by an amount equal to twice your level. So 12. So I'm down again? Oh no! No, your, so my your, hit point your, maximum. Your point maximum. maximum. <laughs> Not my current hit. <laughs> um, but your hit point maximum has already been reduced. I know it's down yeah. to sixteen now. Yep. God. Um, and magical healing of only six level or higher can remove this injury. So you have to recover naturally from this injury because it's it is basically, um, it's a it's a severe because you rolled lingering injury. So this, Sorry. yeah. So you're you take such massive internal damaging uh, damage that you are going to be down until yeah your right arm and just like RP wise like your right arm is fucked. 
Like it probably like made your nerve damage hard to move it, um, and you're until you can recover. So it's five per day. Um, but you have to make the con saves to reduce your severity level to get out of that, right? So, so your so your injury threshold in your right arm is five. Um, and yeah, you're down twelve more. Jesus Christ. So yeah, you live. Ha 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 ha. Hey man. Did anybody I'll else go it. to zero in that fight? I don't think so. No. Okay. So yeah, Ar yeah, Archie, your your arm like. Yeah, your body, you came back and everything, and you, but your arm is like, it's cripply, it's very painful, it doesn't move quite right, and you just feel weak as shit. Considering Looks like you just used the like Infinity it. Gauntlet. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's how I imagine it, because Fireball, you know, it, yeah. it is and just... You, how high in the air were you? Not to mention the impact. Feet? About 60 feet. They like completely just munched. <laughs> like that was the impact point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your shoulder's I... now down where your hip is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ship. It's a ship. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Alright, oh so uh, I just want to get that out of the way so we didn't forget the actual rules. Um, <laughs> so, you, so you guys drag the, drag the guy back inside and um, me back we'll, and we'll, we'll probably wrap up pretty quick here, but as you guys are kind of get, coming back in, um, whatever this attack was seems to have subsided. You don't hear any other sounds of battle. There's plenty of shouting going on, and in fact, you'd probably notice. I don't know if you climb back through a broken window. You probably just walk around to the front door again. Um, I'm not risking ra a rather than window. climbing up over this jagged broken glass back <laughs> into the study. I, natural one. You... I, mean, I would probably just carry RT. <laughs> it's like. As quickly back? as possible to get inside, so <laughs> sure. I would probably go through a window. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, but you do notice as well um, that um, there's there's definitely more destruction and th than just what you guys encountered. The in the campus itself, it seems, was attacked wholesale, not just this building. So there's plenty. There's there's now guards and stuff moving about. Um, there is no, as far as you can tell, uh, looking around, there's no sign of, like, a, like any of those shadow creatures. Like, there's just nothing. It's like they weren't even there, basically. But they're, the bodies of these creatures, like the one Blackwind is dragging, who's still unconscious. Uh, he'll be unconscious for hours, probably, um, without actual heal, magical healing. Um, there's more of those. You see some, you know, as things kind of, like start to have some sort of modicum of, of getting under control and you know, there's groups of guards moving everywhere just like moving people out um i assume you go looking for xanthi or where do you go is that what you're going for first i, I, I would imagine we head where, that way like first. before like the dragon showed up like that was quillen's like main priority so i think that at least he would want to make sure that she's safe no 100 percent. plus yeah with the dude that Blackwind has, they may want to yeah. um, well, interrogate. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I was saying they might want to interrogate. So I think taking him... That's our point yeah. of contact is Xanthi. So yeah. I think that's a... That way is the best um, idea. Uh, Maybe they have ways to make him talk. If he yeah. talks. Well, uh, you, you guys would... I would say you guys would find... We don't need this map anymore right now. Um, You guys would find yourself... In relatively short order, back in like the main kind of like hall, looking for Xanthi, having the attack, who knows how much time goes by, but it's probably like 15, 20 minutes or or more at least. Um, but once it seems like the the imminent attack is over, um, they, uh, I would say the the guard captain guy, uh, wounded as the, as he is, although looking slightly better. <laughs> ah, that son of a bitch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I did give it to him to use if he needed. Yeah. I mean he was pretty hurt. He only had like four hit points or five hit points. I figured. Left. Yeah. Um he he appro he would approach you, um um wounded as he is, his arms kinda like bandaged and maybe like in a, in, in like a sling. Um he he would approach you guys. Um 
and he'd be like, uh, come, Xanthi's a bit shaken up. He's like, I don't know what would have happened if you guys weren't weren't there. Lucky you were here. At and an artist kind of like snorts. He's like, yeah, luck. Um, he's like, but anyways, come. Uh, she's she's just up in her quarters. Um, and he kind of would like lead you through, assuming you'd follow him. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. he'd lead lead you through like the that meeting room that you guys fought we're fighting in and everything off to the left and up the stair there's a staircase in that room leads up mm -hmm. to like a, a, a upper level um and they would she he would lead you um uh artists would kind of like uh grab not grab but he would kind of like before you you go in to the room um artists would, would kind of gesture for you guys to hang back just a sec and kind of tell the guards like well, just one moment um, and he turns to you guys and he's like, what happened today was unfor unforgivable. I, what, whatever your business is with the Merchant Prince doesn't involve me. Uh, I was just here to do some research. I feel, and I know this keeps happening, um, I didn't know you were back in the city. If I had known, I would have left immediately. But and he, he kind of looks at you. He's like, they, those shadow creatures, they're of House Karanok. This Zandala, she must have an alliance with them somehow. Makes sense if they were both looking for me. But those creatures, I mean, they, they've seen you. And that means that Karanok knows you exist now. But they don't necessarily know who we are. It's like, do they? not necessarily. can't risk that i can't risk that not a, me being here nearly got one of you killed and it's like i can't stay here i can't be in the city i can't have any more death on my hands they can track me i don't know how but they can track me i thought i was well ahead of them apparently not i'm not quite sure how they would have gotten here so quickly but they must have some way of moving quickly And I know and you must have a lot of questions, and I'm sure... I, I wish I had time to answer them. I think I need to leave. Well, where, where are you going? If we need to find you again... I mean, I, I think this, you know, just hoping to possibly run into you is probably not the, the best way to go. I'm thinking the point of him leaving is so that we aren't beside him. Well, I, 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 I get it, but... At some point, some uh, some discussions will have to be had. I think, right? He he nods. He's like, at some point, yes. Oh. I. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um. I'm I'm not gonna do it as Liz, but Archie would quickly fill him in on what happened with uh, at Firefinger, and what was said and stuff up there about it starting and. All of that because it connects back to the foray, and that's part of what he's, you know, looking into. So, it's like, she, so you, yeah, she. So that means you freed, in. you freed one of them then. I think so. You know, it's like, Franny then. It's like, well, yeah. that's that's progress. Where am I heading? I will be heading. The only way this stops is is if I make it to Mesro. They can't reach me there. I know they can't. That, that's been my purpose since arriving in this in this continent. M my plan is as it ever was. It's a peninsula. <laughs> he, he, he kind of he kind of <laughs> pauses right. for a moment. He's like, right. Used, yeah. it, it used to be an island before the spell plague. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which it, it, it actually did. It actually did it's, used to be an island. Same artist, same. Yeah, yeah, Archie <laughs> cannot help herself. She's like, see, I'm not always wrong. I'm not just making that <laughs> shit up. It, it's actually true. That before the spell plague, it was a self-contained island. It wasn't connected to the mainland. Anyways, um, he 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 nods and he's he's like, I I still think the best the best way to co to combat this is to find the way back to Mesro. 
it seems House Karanok is, I mean, you saw them in the library. They were doing similar acts in Mesro. They must be trying to, I don't know, destroy any potential knowledge that could be gleaned of how to get uh, to prevent Mesro's return, or I don't know. I don't know their motivations. I don't know why they hate me so much. I have an inkling of why Zendala hates me. Something to do with the ring, but I mean, that's. That has nothing to do with House Karanok. The ring has nothing to do with House Karanok. Anyway. I think it's just a convenience. She. She met them in. Mesro. I think it's just convenience. Wow. An, an unfortunate alliance then uh, e either way um, I'm going to seek the heart of the wild and and to do that I need to speak with Wainrath I need to speak with the Obanashi tribe in, of Tamalka I don't know exactly where it is I, that's what I was here looking to find out um, I went to the a map shop and all of the maps were gone of the, of the area it's in the mountains but I don't know how to get there oh it was her it was Zendala. She was looking up the maps. Oh, she of course bought out it was. all the maps. <laughs> he just kind of like shakes his head. He's like, "Of course it was." Uh, that makes sense. <sighs> does, does that mean that they also know? Probably they... means she's staying in the city at the moment. Well, after this the hubbub here, I don't know if she'll. If she's smart, she'll she'll leave the city. But who knows what her abilities are? She's got powerful magic that's for sure anyways um my i don't have a lot to go on but that's where i'll be heading next is to try to speak with the obanashi uh, i urge you to conclude your business quickly in the city if they know you're here your best bet is to be on the move and i'd hate to have see anybody else get hurt if they come back looking for you that that little witch will probably take a while to lick her wounds, but she seems more resourceful than she looks, so I wouldn't trust that you'll be safe long in the city. So try not to draw attention to yourselves and, and keep moving, and I'm sure this will all blow over. He's like, I don't know what your business here with Xanthi is, like I said, I don't know much about your plans exactly, but at some point... My focus is on Mesro, but at some point, we're gonna, someone's going to have to do something about the, about this death curse. I'm not letting that whatever claim my friend. No chance of that. If there's a way to bring him back, to bring any of these people back, something needs I to be think, done before more people die. I think that's our direction. kind of nods and he's like ah, twice now I wish I could stay longer don't keep the merchant prince waiting we'll just blame it on you it's like it's a burden I'm willing to bear and he kind of like as as he turns to like to leave I'm just gonna quickly say hey live up to your name okay <laughs> <laughs> He, he kind of like nods. He's like, <laughs> "Yeah, sh sure." Has it has it been longer than ten minutes since all this kicked off? Uh, probably at this point, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I would uh, just say to him as he's leaving, Artis, I know you don't believe this, but we owe you a debt that I don't know that." I could ever repay you and Dragon Bait. And I want you to know that I I I, uh, I can never thank you enough for that. And he kind of shakes his head. He's like Gods. There's You're too much like her. It's uncanny. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> And then he kind of like nods to you all and then like just about faces and like marches back down the stairs. Um, 
as you guys turn, unless you could do anything else while you're alone in the hallway. No? Mm, okay. So. Um, as you guys turn and, and enter Xanthi's um, chambers, uh, you you can see it's it's pretty elaborate, like luxurious chamber. Um, Xanth Xanthi's there. Uh, the guard captain guy that that brought you up here is in there waiting for you guys. Um, there's there's an, a, a few other guards as well. Um, it looks like there's another room. This doesn't look like a personal room. Like, it's not like... This isn't her villa, right? Like, this is like a state room, like a private room in Golden Throne. It's not like where she lives. Um, but it's well appointed, and it's got a connecting door, which is open currently. Um, standing in the doorway there, uh, there are uh, two other figures. Well, there's two other figures that stand out um, surrounded by probably a dozen uh, guards as well. Um, so it's pretty... This is a large room, though. Like, it's a big room. It's not like a tiny like, bed chamber or something. Um, so they're spread out. There's plenty... You're not, like, all crammed in like sardines. Um, one of them you you recognize immediately, because um, you've met her before, some of you, anyways, um, as Coyote, one of the other merchant princes. Um, and uh, beside her uh, is... A man with a short cut cropped beard, uh, white. He's an elderly Chalton man. Or not elderly, but he's probably in his 60s, he looks like, anyways. Um, he's got like a kind of like a green and gold with gold trim, like kind of cylindrical cap on his head. Um, doesn't have a mustache, but has like a chin strap beard, kind of trimmed nicely. And he's wearing like gold and, and uh, green robes. Don't, I'm pretty sure you guys have never seen him before. Um, but he's standing there. Uh, to his side, there's another figure that some of you might recognize, most of you will recognize as well. Um, there is a red-haired gnome um, in, like, leather armor. Um, pair of, like, uh, curved daggers at her side. Um, last time you saw her, um, Liz, she was kind of in, like, fancier dress. Mm -hmm. But he was also at Golden Throne. She's standing, like, near this other guy. Um, there's a couple large... There's a couple mercenary-looking guys mixed in, as well as a, a half-giant that you guys saw outside of the dinosaur pens. Um, kind of all standing kind of in the... Like, behind this other guy. Um, and then Coyote has, uh, like, a, just a mix of very competent-looking, like, Chulton guard, like, around her. Um, they seem to be in the midst of a discussion as you guys walk in, and Coyote seems to be basically chewing out this man, and she says, and she says, this is why we need a stronger standing army in the city. Attacks like this, first the undead, now this attack directly on Golden Throne, your mercenaries aren't doing anything, Ifan. And Ifan's kind of like, kind of like shrug, shrugs. He's like, well, they, they would if we could actually deal with the pirate problem. It's not my fault that, that, that my reinforcements aren't getting through from the mainland. And Xanthi kind of like waves. He's like, please, please, we, we have guests. And she kind of like gestures. She's like, please, enter. Sit. Uh, and then she kind of like snaps her fingers. She's like, get them bandages, refreshments. Um, we will... We have much to discuss, my friends. Um, and that is where we will end the session today. I knew he was going to be there. Ethan? <laughs> yeah. He's he, he's the older one in like the green and yeah. gold? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I had the right one. And that was Jamna with him? Uh, Jamna. Yeah. yeah. The Zantarum. Yeah. Um, there's a picture of him. Just so I can. I guess that's not gold. It's more of a... Well, green, it can green, be. Green and kind of <laughs> burnished brass. I don't know. Anyways, maybe he's wearing gold today. A, I was say, it's a different day. Yeah, yeah he's, fancy he's, got, dress. he's got more than one hat. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we'll, we'll wrap up the session it's there. Outrageous. <laughs> it's just, it's like glitter and spangled. Anyways, um... Uh, <laughs> Are LEDs, weirdly? I don't... <laughs> All right, well... Let's wrap. We'll wrap up here. Um, let's do. I don't. Oh, 
Yeah, so, okay. So, yeah, Sean sort of came back, I think, a little bit. Yeah, in the end there. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just we'll wrap up here. Um, let's do a quick round and then we'll we'll end. So why don't we start with um, why don't we start with uh, Sean if he's there? If not, I think he messaged me his frozen and thorn. Hello. Oh, you are there. Okay, hi. hi. You might have to click on his tile to bring it back his camera. Oh, really? Well, uh, yeah, Corey might have. To Corey, my Discord's weird that way. I don't know. Sometimes whatever people... it doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> I'll be back for a little bit. So, Sean, I know you missed some stuff there. I saw that uh, you and you and uh, Ryan were filling each other in through whispers, so I think you got the gist of what happened. But, um, what were yeah. uh, thoughts? Um, I which got, I enjoyed it. Also, it was a sure it was the whole session was all in the, this building and it was the fight. But like I was saying, it was so good. I got to transform into a terror bird and run around, <laughs> and that <laughs> might have been fun. I enjoyed doing that because I hadn't done that before. And that, um, the only thorn I have also is my which was a combo thing didn't work. Sorry. I got to that, I got counseled out. I'm like, oh, this is going to be so cool. I'm going to run out there. I'm going to transform. I'm going to do that. And nobody thinks that he, which are, she can be reached, whatever. And then she comes back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, went from like, I went from like way up here. I'm like, oh, yeah. No. So <laughs> But. Yeah, other than that all stuff, I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. Cool. Um, Ryan? Uh, it was an interesting battle. Uh, I think we slogged in it a little bit. It felt like a slog. but Yeah, in the middle time. there, definitely slowed down. The distances with some of the people having, having to run really slowed things down. I, I, <laughs> it was more noticeable, like, if you had to run a lot. And yeah. you could make it there, so I mean, obviously, that only amplifies the noticing of it when you're. But I mean, both characters actually had enhanced movement <laughs> at some point, somehow. So, that which I mean, really amplified noticing it because you're like, <laughs> oh wait, I got it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but it 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 was a bit of a slog, I think, just on us. But it was kind of story driven. So it was still interesting. I cut down helpless people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they were they were jackasses. As, as we do. Yeah. No, no one's gonna fault you for hacking those guys down. Um, oh, except for I maybe Joe, but that's okay. He kept one alive, so <laughs> balances out. That's a, yeah, that's like positive. at least worth ten for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't completely eviscerate him. Um. All right. Cool. Um. Liz? Uh, yeah. Thoughts on your roller coaster of a, of a last That was year. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, my Rose and Thorn are going to be the same thing. <laughs> Dying and then being revivified, which I was absolutely not expecting. I was so pissed off when I died. Because it was my fault. Because I fucked it up. It wasn't just a, we're in the fight, and this happens, and I happen to get hit, and I happen to die. You know? Like, had I died the first time, I wouldn't have been super... I would have been sad, but it wouldn't have made me so mad. But because I, I immediately realized my mistake, and you capitalized on it immediately before I could correct, I was so bad. So... I mean, like, I don't, I don't blame you for it or anything. I just, but especially because you love me and you revivified me, and I, thank you. <laughs> hey, I had to kill off one of my favorite NPCs. Just FYI, I didn't Deus Ex Machina that he has that ability. The, yeah. The, the the sword has that ability. It's a one shot, and it requires a massive sacrifice, but it, yeah. Didn't think I was gonna I... have to use it till later at some point. <laughs> but it's okay. Was he no. <laughs> Was he trying to communicate to Aelin? It's like, hey, I can kill you to save her. And he and, and Aelin was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess you'll never know. Well, I was just like <laughs> I mean I didn't I had no fucking idea. He just hands Aelin the sword like you do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh so but yeah, no, it was 
I was absolutely not expecting that. So that was a that was a lovely surprise. Uh, we need to get some scrolls of Revivify. <laughs> <laughs> Can anybody cast Revivify on their lists? Well, not yet. Revivify is a cleric spell. No, Jonah. Oh, Jonah gets it. Or can, potentially. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. I might do, actually. Maybe. All right, anything else, Liz? Um, oh, cast it, too. Yeah, uh... I... Okay, so... Does Sean have inspiration? He is full. Oh, I'm okay. full. I want to use Then I'm moving on. Is Ryan full? <laughs> no. I have used I use okay. one. Uh, I, I have two. <laughs> now you have three. Okay. Um, for using the Ouroboros stink bomb mm -hmm. thing, that was brilliant. You completely shut down the entire room for the most part. Like, although had you not done that, Archie wouldn't have run after her because she would have she would have stopped to dispel magic the orb, and wouldn't have caught up. <laughs> So I'm Listen, gonna get. I hadn't you... spent like five rounds trying to punch one fucking enemy. Yeah. Well, and that was. I wouldn't have been in that room. What a I, the whole time I was running around trying to get there, I had a plan to dispel magic her, or just to, or to try to dispel magicking the crown she was wearing, and so that's when I was trying to get there. So it was in my head to catch up, you know, and so that's why I screwed up the distance when I finally did catch up. I was, I, cause I've been thinking about it for literally about five rounds. <laughs> like, I'll eventually get there to get to do something. <laughs> so, but it worked out. Yep. I'm not dead. And that's what's important. Yeah. So, Brad? Uh, yeah. It was a great session. I, I, I understand, like, what you're saying, as you're saying about it, parts of it feeling like a slog. Genuinely, I think so much of it just had to do with super bad luck on our dice rolls. Like, yeah. I, we were mm. just Damage rolls. round after round after round. Miss, there were several miss. rounds where I was like, wow, this guy gets another turn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah. Like, this is cursed. <laughs> like, if we had rolled even just average in those for those rounds, we things would have gotten we would have been able to get through stuff a lot faster, faster and yeah. more efficiently and everything. It was just... And granted, even if it was a slog, it was still interesting. No, totally, like, even yeah. when I was running for five rounds, I was still interested in what everybody else was doing in the story between, yeah. you know. So, I don't... Yeah, it wasn't super uninteresting. It was just very... For sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, I, I, I thought it was great. Um, it felt like there were it was very high stakes uh you know it kind of gave a bit of the um uh feeling of the the fight in um in the last campaign in the the city the, oh <sighs> the first time we fought Hamun cost in, in your turn your turn thank you mm -hmm. it kind of had a, a, that sort of vibe right and that, and it's it, it was tense. It was high stakes. Is it going to get away? Or is it not? Whatever. Uh, I could give inspiration to everyone. I actually wrote down notes for like, <laughs> uh, I would give it to to Aelin for you know just using the booming voice warning, mm -hmm. uh, and just mechanically calling out the dominant person thing. That was super good. That was cl Yeah, I didn't realize. Uh, yeah. I could give yeah. it to Archie. Could have killed an artist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, I could I could give it to Archie for uh, just the fact that you, you you went for it even though it it ended poorly. I was like, "Fuck yeah, do it! <laughs> Hell yeah, go for it!" Like you say, I had a plan. I just fucked the plan up, and it it absolutely it bit me in the ass. I could oh. give it to Donaquin for busting through the window and doing the call <laughs> lighting again, even though it yeah. didn't technically work. It was an awesome idea. Yeah. And I, and, the, and for Blackwind, the smoke bomb, I thought everyone had cool ideas and cool moments. And, and hey, what uh, about the fairy fire from Jonah? I'm just kidding. And the fairy fire from <laughs> Jonah. Honestly, that was a really good say. And yeah, Sean coming, like, just boot, 
running in and picking me up. You yeah. probably saved my life from the first time I went down. <laughs> no, no, because you would have been hit by the um, the boom, the AOE thing that the dragon did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Sure. I'm yeah. sure it would have targeted me if I wasn't in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, uh, it's great for when you don't want to destroy the room full of flammables. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. Yeah, so all around across the board, thought it was a great session. So who are you actually giving inspiration? I gave it to uh, Aelin. It was the first name you said. Aelin. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Plus, Blackwood and Donovan are full. John's not here, and Archie already had two, so I gave it to him. That's true. Uh, speaking of, Andre, last but not least. Boy, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, I I didn't hate the session. I mean, no, the, combat, the combat was, yeah, the combat was awesome. So it was rough. dynamic. There was so much stuff going on. It felt like every round objectives were changing and, and priorities needed to be shifted, and that was definitely enjoyable. Um, yeah, but huge thorn for just the atrocious dice rolls. I felt like I was just worthless in that fight. I feel like I did maybe like one or two, like I broke the concentration because my hit was the lucky hit that broke the fear on that one, but uh, yeah, like to, to blow two key points and two inspirations to have stunning strike not work, it just feels awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and it's, it's like, it just makes me r kind of recognize more that like the monk feels like a really swingy class that like the highs are really high and the lows are, are awful and plentiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Wait. you know. It Wait happens. for one away from me next time so I can haste you. Because <laughs> yeah, I it's, it's I always nice. want to, but you always take you always roll higher than me on initiative and take off. But I'm just like the thing is I usually right. don't. I usually have awful initiative. <laughs> this is like the first time I had a really good one. Yeah, usually in the bottom with me. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, so you know, obvious thorn for the die rolls, dice rolls, but also uh, like thorn for Archie dying, uh, and then you know rose for her coming back not expected um i was i was definitely thinking about a lot of things about what uh Aelin might be doing if if archie wasn't a uh, part of this party anymore um so uh yeah it was a real real roller coaster for sure um i definitely wouldn't have been in in such a a, an upbeat mood <laughs> at this point in the game if uh <laughs> If things had gone differently, so yeah, 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 cool, yeah. Um, for me, yeah, it, it, I mean, Thor, Thorn was, yeah, the the amount of time it took just because of the the bad rolls and it just that exacerbated the problems. Like it was just kind of like there was right in the middle there. There was a bit of a slog. I felt like it was just like trying to get over to where artists and stuff was for half the party going mm -hmm. in different directions, getting stuck in that guy in the hallway and just kind of like, it kind of like stalled out for like four rounds and then it kind of mm -hmm. picked right back up again. The ending mm -hmm. was like nail biting. I pulled out all the stops to get at Zandala to get away. I'm like, okay, she's got this many spell slots. She's got these spells. Here she goes. Okay. Misty step. Do this. No. Fuck. Grappled. Okay. Misty step. Get out. Get out the window. Okay. Fireball them. No. He's up. Damn it. He's up. Okay. Get it far enough away. Oh no. Call lightning. Wait. How close are you? Yes. 60 feet. Counter spell. <laughs> how, <laughs> how, how, many, how many hit points did she have at the end? At the uh, end, after you hit her with the spear, when you crit her with the spear, I was like, fuck, she's dead. You did six points of damage. You had two hit points left. Fuck me. Ah. Oh. Two Cause dice yeah, six. Because you, you rolled really... You rolled, I rolled yeah. two twos. And, and here's the thing. You did that before Sean did his thing, right? Yeah. I was... If you hadn't missed with the second roll, like straight out missed, I was going to use her reaction to shield, and then Donovan for sure would have blasted her out of the sky with his lightning. But it, she, didn't, she didn't have hard. to shield because you missed with the second one, and you crit with the first one, so she never had to use it. So that just worked out that she still had a reaction for Donovan. That's, that's and then I was like, life. and the fact that she has meta magic, she's got quicken meta magic, yeah. that saved her ass too because then she was able to double fly and still cast a spell, and mm -hmm. like it, so it worked yeah. out. Like I did, I swear to God, I did not cheat. 
with any of her abilities. <laughs> I used it to the full extent. I have to say that I'm... If she had died there, I would... It's fine. I would have been like, whatever, Zanella's dead. The fact that she got away makes me so happy as a DM, because, no. man... <laughs> so that's, frustrating. Jeez, this campaign's Hamun Ka. <laughs> so I, I love a good recurring villain. I love it. Anyways. I'm not even sure what drives her, except for her want of the glove. Like, what's what drives her to want the, the ring or whatever? The ring? Yeah. To be fair... That ring is kind of worth it. <laughs> it is a legendary yeah. artifact. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. ring and is insane. I, I forgot to mention I wanted to give inspiration to Liz for hasting herself to chase after yeah. Zendala. Oh. Because how oh. often does a, does a fucking <laughs> wizard haste themselves to chase after somebody? I mean, I think if she would have hasted me, I would have caught her. Why? It doesn't happen. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, oh. I had to haste myself to even get to over to you, though, Sean. Yeah. Well, to be honest, yeah, though, I even if you did keep your there. distance and she saw you were following her, she could have turned she around, have back. going back, it's true. and still well, the same thing. Yeah. No, that's true. And I could have. She's actually. A, I, I could see her being like, oh, you're chasing me. I bet, you know, knock you off my trail. Yeah. Listen. It would have. It would have sort of depended on. I needed more time to calculate the distances on it because if I if it only if at any time it took me less than 120, I could always hold a cantrip and, and, and if she came within 120, and then if I caught it where she because basically I needed her to run out of misty steps was what I needed. Well, That's she was out, needed. oh she was out by the end. She used all of them. Oh, well, but she can she can upcast right. Use I guess she had at the it, end. Just so, so you guys know, at the end of the battle, she had. She still had three first level spell slots left, so she. Yeah, I, I was going to make magic missile you out of the air, but then I was like, ah, she's still got a fourth level slot, so I fireballed you instead because I'm like, oh yeah, upcasting's a thing. Yeah, because um, had I not screwed up the initial distance, I was gonna, I was going to keep 150, okay. so and hold. What's fire the range on or, uh, fireball? Range on fireball is 120, but it's in a 30 foot. So if you're 150 out, yeah. you're, you're you're just out of explosion just, range. You're just okay. enough, and because I knew she had when Corey but specified. If, if you were out, her though, Liz, third level. um, because yeah. what's what's the range on magic missile? 120. Oh, so, so it would have been there as well. Yeah, I w and I was gonna level three magic missile. Her. Is just to make sure I I got it. And, so uh, I was gonna wait. She didn't until have a I reaction left. To to she could have shielded if she had a reaction when you did that though. And, and there was a possibility the maybe she had meta magic that increased her range too. There is meta magic that increases range. And and never it's true. I, I burned all of my meta magic on Quicken that fight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the the question became if I had enough rounds for her to run out of of the distance because i or she was never gonna like so yeah it was whether i could get in there in the 120 hit her before <laughs> running out i wasn't gonna run out of my own flying i wasn't gonna fall oh, over that far I, I guess i can delete my list of dragon bait smells i was building up a big repertoire hmm. of dragon bait smells oh well what was ham <laughs> uh, ham was worried or nervous Okay. Uh, Lemon was like hello and happy, right? Lemon Lemons was amused because mm. when I, when that's why he was amused when uh, when Aelin was said whatever he said to him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what were the other ones? Fr fresh rain was happy or content? Ah, uh, was the rain okay? Um, sadness Rose. was roses. Um, baking bread was greetings or farewell. It was like his aloha. Yeah. Bread. Uh, no thank you was blueberries. Uh, thank you or being grateful was maple bacon. Mm. Uh, fear was sulfur or rotten eggs. Anger was wood smoke. And sleepy was honey. Anyways. Nice. I just, I thought that was such a I, cool Yeah, I like cool dragon thing. I, I, made a, I made a list and every time it was a new emotion, I was like, okay, I gotta write this down so I can be consistent with what he uses. But anyways, then he, then he died. Anyways, oh, um... Uh, one more, one thorn for me, that, uh, that John actually wasn't here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, I, I wonder how it would have gone, because he sure would come up with some sort of madcap something. Yeah, earlier. probably. Well, yeah, I mean, he had, we barely, you know, touched his spells and stuff, too, so yeah. he had yeah. a lot of... But he did have a clutch stuff. healing word to bring someone up, and he did... 
do the fairy, the fairy fire. fire. So I think we, I think he was effective as like a character, even though yeah. mm -hmm. as a player he was gone. But anyways, um, we'll we'll end now. Sorry, we went way over. Um, thank you so much for watching this episode of Magic Mythical Tomb of Annihilation. We live stream on Sundays 4 p.m. here on Twitch, um, and you can also see weekly sessions as well on YouTube. If you enjoyed spending this time, give us a follow, and you'll see when we go live. And never miss an episode. Thank you again. Thank you to all my players. And uh, have a great night.